Here we go. All right, thumbs up, <laughs> and the handshake comes out, and here we go. Yeah, Finals, game one. Someone said about a Jerome Porter walked the flock of game weight. <laughs> Up, yep, that's right. So you guys just just to remember, we always said enough. Best of five. All right, and Hoban, Hoban starts off with his signature card, Upstart yeah. Goblin. And that's really big for Hoban going first here because that what that do, does right off the bat, not allowing Jerome to open up with that brokenness that we've seen him do in multiple rounds on uh, on camera. Yeah. And that's so the biggest thing you got to stop um, Cliffords yeah. from getting that momentum early because they they just put the foot on the gas pedal and they never let it step off. I'm it's telling you, boy, it's like a high speed chase. Let me tell you, you ain't gonna catch him. Yep. And uh, yeah, you, you guys want to be sure like. It is 1500 technically credit, but you can put that towards anything you want. Food, flights, hotel, cards, whatever you want. All right, Hoban, another okay. upstart Hoban. Oh, a ten, putting uh, Jerome at a, a sweet 10,000. Pretty orange heavy hand and a uh, Karma Cut from Hoban. Is that a Seer, Seer Skarm? I can't, I can't see. Uh, yeah, I definitely see is Seer. Is it a Wing Blaster? I, I think he has Luster Soldier too. Ooh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, definitely one of those one of those you don't mind seeing. It looks like a couple copies of Seer actually. And a copy of Skarm. Alright, so is that a special? Yes, yeah, special summon. And a normal summon of Skarm. And we're going right to Dante right off the bat. He's gonna yep. detach that Skarm, I'm imagining. Yep. Alright guys, come on. We got uh, seven more viewers to hit twenty five hundred. We oh. can do this. We can seven do this. more, come on dog. I know your mom's on the computer, I know your uncle's on the computer. Just they don't even have to watch the match. Just tell them to put on yep. the link and mute it. And hits a uh, scar, oh, nice hit off the fire leg. Yeah, uh, hitting hits. Alec is not the greatest thing here, but having everything up live is uh, good to go. And you're right, that is a Black Cluster Soldier, yes, hand, which uh, carried him to victory in top four. Oh, yes, it did. Yeah, Black uh, that, that's been a card that's just get, been getting people there. We saw it with Hoban earlier. We saw it with Naus last round. And we, we are at 25 plus. Yes. All right, there we go. Milestones, Thank you very baby. much, guys. All okay. right. Keep spreading the word. Ooh, and a nice opening hand here from Porter. I mean, as soon as I see Summoner's Art, that's good. Yeah. Um, Hoven, Hoven, a very strong start himself. Uh, his Skarm Search is going to add Graph to his hand. Yeah, yeah but here's that Summoner's Art going to grab the, uh, the Scout into no his doubt. hand. All right, Jerome going to shuffle up real quick before he goes in. See what he's looking yeah, 25, to get. Yeah, 57. All right, keep it, keep it climbing, keep mm. it climbing. All right. Gucci. Gucci. All right, so oh, there's a skill drain in um, Porter's hand, by the way. That is big. Yeah, that is. That is huge. Uh, so yeah, not a very effective card in, uh, in the side deck, but for this crucial game one, it yes. can definitely brick stuff like uh, Virgil and Dante. So he's going to start off with a, uh, a clipboard scout. And he's going to pay eight. Go ahead and go in the deck. All right. So probably even better for Hoban that uh, his Dante didn't get stifled uh, with uh, Jerome going first. Yeah. Um, so he's going to go ahead and search that Clifford Carrier. Um, Porter with at least a copy of Summoner. Looks like Summoner Art. Pot of Duality. Uh, might be Odd Eyes in there, too. Yeah, it's kind of definitely has Odd Eyes. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's the there's Trap Links. The oh, my goodness. It gets it gets worse before it gets better. That is insane. And, right, and this is uh, this looks like a pendulum summon. Yes. You have to bounce the scout back yep. to his hand. And he's gonna be able to play that scout again, so that's gonna be two summons. Or two uh scouts, excuse me. Yeah, comes right back and it's gonna go unchallenged yet again. And now Porter starting this match off exactly how he would want. Yeah. Even with Dante on the field, he's just having no problems getting where he, and he still has duality in his hand, but now he did special. Yeah, I was going to say, unfortunately, the duality does seem a little conflicting here, but when you're making the play, uh, plays as strong as this to yeah. set up a, an incredible board, it doesn't really matter that much. And he's going to go ahead and grab Sacrifice. You have to uh, you have to wonder if he's going to, if he has the disc to sacrifice the carrier tribute. for. <coughs> he's playing his hand uh, pretty fast there. Can't exactly see exactly what's in his hand. but We know he has Skill Drain, Duality, um... And the, I think the sacrifice. An, I think an upstart as well. well there's a lot. There's, it's hard to tell. <laughs> so we'll just wait to see what, he, what happens right here. Yeah. A lot of cards in his hand via scout. I heard someone compare scout to uh, spellbook tower, and I was just like, no. I played spellbooks. If we had something like yeah, scout, we'd, we'd be a lot it better is off. Not even close. <laughs> like, it is insane. Right, Jerome taking a little bit of time to think about his place. Yeah, man, this is final. Oh, another Summoner's Art. That is not a bad card to see. Again, no, this, this this searching and this deck thinning, man, all relevant right now. Crazy. 
Yeah, definitely. This boy Porter be opening up with the Stone Cold Nuts. <laughs> and that is going to add Clifford Scout to his hand. Yeah. Only, only targeting the deck. And Sacrifice is equipped. It's uh, interesting to see if he just feels like pushing over this Dante. I don't know if Hoban's uh, considering a response to the activation of that or not. Looks like he might. Yeah. Where is that a wing blast face now? No, I'm, I'm it's not a karma cut. A karma cut, okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, just broke 2,600. Uh, let's keep it going. Keep it going. All day, on, man. Guys. We do this all day. Let's, let's shoot for 3,000. I, I ain't shoot even. I ain't even. I ain't even impressed anymore. Y'all just coming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Thank. Thank you, guys. Again, this is yeah, awesome. This has been great. We have just been shattering uh, viewership records, and it's it's incredible. So he is going to activate Karma Cut on this Karma carrier. On carrier. What's he going to get rid of, though? Interesting to see how this goes. Again, these untimed rounds will allow both players to take a, a little extra thought when considering uh, what they want to do, so don't mind them. Yeah, while no one's trying to stall out for time. Yeah, while they do have to, you know, make their plays in a reasonable manner, yeah. it, it is the finals. There's there's a bit of leniency. We, we both know these players aren't going to sit here and you know, intentionally slow play. And be I mean, you ain't got to. You made it to the finals now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. You did it. You did it. Yeah. So you dumped Graph, right? Yep. So let's see what's coming off that. And uh looks like he's pulled Rubik to the front. Yep. I hope he's a little conflicted on what he wants to do. Yeah. It looks like he's decided on Rubik. Pretty, yeah. pretty close to decided. Uh, yeah, that is a that is a Rubik. Yep. All right. Makes a decision. Hits the board. And I, I think I might have missed what uh, Jerome searched off of Sacrifice. Yes, I, I also missed it. Yeah, I can see it. I, I think he... I don't know. Is he still... Oh, yeah. He did search. Okay. All right, well, we'll find out momentarily, so. Yes. I ain't worried about it. Yeah, and not all on Porter. And now, uh, Patrick, no back row here. So, depending on how Porter wants to play this, he might feel comfortable enough to try and take complete control. That's going to be a normal That's summon? Yeah, it's going to be a normal summon. Yeah. yeah. The big thing is, is uh, also that uh, Rubik has 2,100 defense, so you want to sacrifice, carry can't even push through it. Yeah. Oh, true. Absolutely correct. Yep. He's able to make up a nice wall. And Hoban draws. Uh, right, Jerome does have a lot of real back rows. Looks like he drew MST. I think it's a lore. Or is that a lore? Yeah, looks, that is a, that is a lore. Looks You're a lore. Right. You're right. Usually are. <laughs> Appreciate it, Ian. Appreciate it. <laughs> you know, that's one time I didn't hear, one thing I didn't hear in math class. But <laughs> right here at ARG, appreciate the love, baby. Sigh. All right. And, and, and it's dead, just like that. Ooh, Thanks. true emptiness is gone. Yeah, he did mill another copy of Sir, unfortunately. Yeah. So that's uh, that, that mill not uh, not the best of anything yeah. right there, but yeah. Now take it how you how you get it. Yeah. Looks like he's still thinking here. Yeah. Um, be interesting to see. Uh, you have to assume he grabs yeah. Skarm, but he might just grab Graph. Continue to try to uh, go off. Yeah, guys, just to reiterate, just Ooh, the emptiness. emptiness. Yep. That's what I was, was waiting for. Uh, this is a nice bait for the emptiness because um, he does have an established field already. Very uh, true. Does, uh, but it's going to let Jerome stall for one turn, letting him grab the disc and push off from there. What we're going to see, though. Yes. Um, what was the other card that he milled but apart from the, uh, the uh, emptiness? Two emptiness. Two emptiness. Two, emptiness. Yeah, and yeah, and another, two emptinesses uh, okay. are gone. And another copy of Sir. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. Not the greatest of mills right there for Pat, but again, just gotta play with what you got, what you're given. Yeah. Is there another spell card in here? Oh, still a lore, right. See where he wants to take it from here, obviously. Right. I kind of consider those options. Emptiness, uh, one of those cards that just yeah. ruin your day, man. Found out she's late, oh, ruined my day. 
It's just, it's just, it's just as bad. Sigh. Just as bad. <laughs> this is why we can't have yep, this. Galaxy in. Thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome hey, sub club, bro. Sub hype. And that's a skill change. Yep. Yeah, that, that's just. Game. Yep, that's a real card. <laughs> yeah, that is devastating. Could very well be a game ender too. So, uh, we'll see. He's gonna swing. Dante and is going to Dante. To, yeah, Dante is going to go drop back down to a thousand, I believe, with the uh, with the skill drain, run into a uh, rather into the carrier. Yeah, rather gigantic carrier. He's going to grab Fire Lake back. Uh, very interesting. <laughs> All right, read trample links real quick. And we have a reader. Yeah, Oban definitely taking his time on this one. Yeah, I mean, he's in a tough spot. Like, Vanity's in his and skill drain. Um, so he will normal summon, sir. But he needs a way to just break, break through that carrier. Oh, no, that, that carrier was 24, wasn't it? So Because of the drain. Yeah. Is that a Fire Lake, though? Yes, that is a yeah, Fire Lake. Yeah, he had a Fire Lake from okay. Dante. Okay. So that fire lake has the uh the gun like we were talking about earlier that yeah, has, has the potential to break this game open. Yeah. So uh shatter that board. Porter did draw another copy of Colport Scout for his turn. Looks yeah, like Hoban's gonna let this rock. Yep. Yeah, I think you do. I mean, All right. Really, I'm just trying to commit, um, force him to at least go to the battle phase. Uh, it just stops any further setup that he could have for that turn. Yeah, he got he uh. Likes to add sacrifice to his hand from Scout. And in case anybody's been curious, uh, Colport Scout allows you to add any card with uh, QLI yeah. Yeah, in its uh, name. It's right. no matter how it so goes to the field, it's pretty uh, from the field to the yard. It's pretty ridiculous. Yeah. So, uh, so it does allow you to add sacrifice. Not it, it's not restricted to just the uh, the creatures. All right, Patrick thinking about a response to this attack here. If he lets it go, that lake's going to be not he quite as easy. Yeah, there it exactly. is. Don't really have much of a choice. So that's going to force his hand right there. He's going to clear some cards off this board. Much needed. Now, if uh, the, now the debate here is, does he want to pop the emptiness yeah, now or not to trigger his seer? Exactly. Or or wait, but he'll miss his seer if he does. Yeah. And I I think you have to pop the emptiness and get back your Dante. Yeah, um. so that means, but, but that's Dante skill drain, and then probably the scout. Um, or yeah, that that seems fair. And unfortunately, if he decides to go that route, it it, um, it frees up his extra. Yeah. Uh, well, well, that and Porter did draw another scout first. Oh, turn. okay, he did. Yes. So, uh, have been very, very deep in thought here. And he just elects to blow up all of his back rows. Uh -huh. Yeah, I feel that's fine too, just because you're gonna. If he already has the scout, it, it still triggers the seer, yeah. and um, it makes your uh, you have that BLS for next turn too. Yeah, true BLS, uh, very relevant. Yes. Yeah, this is just since um, again, w once again, seeing just how powerful Burning Abyss is. Mm -hmm. yeah. The scissors decisions here from Hoven. I've been thinking very carefully about what he wants to revive yeah. with this, sir. And, uh, by the way, Fire Lake is a simultaneous destruction. Yes. So it is not, uh, you destroy the Burning Abyss first and then it is no, simultaneous. Actually, it sends to the graveyard. If I'm uh, oh, it sends them to him? Fire Lake? Fire yeah. Lake destroys. Does it destroy them? Yes. No, it destroys uh, our them. No, you se you send your burning abyss monster to the grave. Yeah, and send then you two destroy. face up. Yeah. I thought it says target two of your burning send abyss face and three up of two. their creatures. Nah, man, send two face up. Okay. Yeah, so at cost, as cost you send. Ian over here trying to rewrite cards. Hey. I thought I thought it I thought it destroyed. <laughs> I gotta swore it did. Is that how you were savaging your opponents earlier, man? What the one opponent I played? Oh yeah, you did kind of go X two. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you know, if you didn't get savage, we wouldn't be on here rocking the mic right now. So it's yeah. all good, man. Yeah. Glad you took those L's. All right, so we got Skarm. 
Can you like this? Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. So, uh. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is pretty slow play right now. I mean, obviously a lot to think about here. Championship on the line. Can't blame him. Yeah, very deliberate. Yeah. It's still Porter's turn, correct? Yeah. yeah. yeah he's going to sack a place, and he's going to sack at man phase 2 for this. Alright, bringing out the disc. Alright. Uh, so he's going to get a sack a place search, and he's going to get the uh, the two creatures from disc. I don't believe he's used trample links yet this turn, so uh, if he so chooses, he can bring out two creatures and uh, go into an exceed. Or XYZ. So he's uh, bringing out scout. And uh, Helix. Like a Helix, yeah. Alright. He's gonna go ahead and add a creature for uh, Sacrifice. Nice. Again, man, just taking their times right here. So I guess he's Absolutely. looking at Pendulum. Absolutely. All right, bouncing this guy. All right, that's that's good. That's going to free him up, and now he can go into that extra deck. And let's see what he's going to bring out. Maybe Castell. Castro yeah, hits the board. I expected. All right, this is a good play here from Drum. Let's clear that board off. Force that shuffle. Uh, getting a little aggressive. So I think Pat has two cards in hand. Yes. If I'm not mistaken, are, he'll draw are, the three. They are Black Luster Soldier and the Lord Darkness. Yeah. So he might be looking to get a dark. Just have something. Um. Yeah, and Porter does have the Scout in his hand that he returns still. So. Yep. Yeah. If he chooses to do so, do so he can, uh... Oh, that's a... Yeah, the artifact draw. That is a nice, uh, level 5 right there. And, you know, Porter, he plays two rank 5s, which are the Durandal and the Volcasaurus here. So this really puts him in a pretty strong position. Yes. Um... I think his Durandal, Durandal's like 26? 24? 24? 24, Yes, 24. 24. And his effect, in case you didn't know, or his primary effect, uh, he can make anything that happens, like effect, monster, all that stuff. Um, destroy a back row. And then the hand shuffling thing. Yep, and it also has, yeah, the hand shuffling, which is actually really relevant if your opponent's trying to special summon Burning Abyss monsters, because those effects do activate in hand. Yes. In, uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's a great way to turn off, like, you can put some in a lock, and if, uh, when he goes for that second special summon, now, uh, just knocks it he off. brings out, he got, what do you got, grab by climate change? Yeah, he yes, got he climate, got climate change. change. All right, nice. And let's see what Hoban gets. Was it Rubric, maybe? How much did he swing for? Luster Soldier, Allure, still unknown. I think it was a Rubric. Don't quote me on it. Don't quote me on a lot of things, but... <laughs> Alright, well, we, we don't know. We're not quite sure what Hoban drew. Keeping it to himself right now. This man was not taught to share. I hope I'm considering some options. Oh, All right, reading. I had to fix a, a life point discrepancy, but there we are. Um, right as we break uh, 2,700 viewers. 2,700? Uh, mm. Glad y'all tuning in. Oh, yeah, man. man. This is awesome. Yeah. Lord have mercy. You know, my cousins always said I never make it big, but... 
2,700 people watching. What you doing, dog? Oh, what you do? Oh, you you doing 25 to life? That's what you doing? Yeah, I said it. Yeah, my family got problems. Wow. What's up? <laughs> family got problems. Everybody family got problems. But anyway, it's all gravy. It's all Gucci. Okay, we got a little personal there we for a worry, second. We ain't worry um, about it. Things just got way too real. Wow. Wow. This field looking personal. Visu, did you uh, tweet out to the Smash community that you're? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, right I put now? the link on my my Twitter. I got like three thousand okay, so followers, so I know I know people came through. Hopefully, we're gonna start with a Black Luster Soldier, uh, Exile, yep. Dante, Yo. and uh, let's see what else. It's like oh, yeah, Dante's sir. here. All right, spiel us. See if you can put some work. Yeah, he can't help clear the field. There's no sense in uh. Is he gonna try and banish? Uh, looks like he maybe. It's uh, it is kind of risky to attack knowing that uh. I don't think you attack here. He's knowing knowing that off. Porter did search uh climate change last turn. And he can add them back, but it looks like he's going to attack the Durandal first. And uh, before he does, Porter's going to go ahead and uh, redraw a hand. Yeah, so both now this does shuffle the hand for both players, so it's a great way that if uh, even if you brick, yeah. your opponent doesn't just to refresh that hand. Yeah, man, of course. That boy's covered all his bases. Yeah, I gotta say, uh, Drome is definitely still like in firm control. I want to say, like, looks like Hoven drew uh, tour guide and a blank. and he looks is like not a normal summon for the turn yet either. Yeah, he definitely is not. So, yeah, very good. Boy, Stan might make a push. I don't know. I suppose we shall see. Looks like they are. He put he put the uh, the disc back on the board. Did he? Did he not swing over it too? Looks like uh looks like Hoban is thinking if he's actually going to swing over the disc. Yeah, disc or Castell. Um. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got you. I got you. But yeah, there him, are, ripping, there are him ripping that tour guide is just absolutely insane yeah. right here. Pretty helpful. And, oh, he's letting him read climate change. All right. Yep. Man, this is still game one, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh ahead of us. I guess you could say I'm really feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's yeah. for my smashes in the chat. <laughs> Just the worst. And uh Yo, shocks the man. <laughs> Yeah, and for you uh, Dota players, uh, I see a few right here. No, EE -E does not stand for Eternal Envy. <laughs> hey, hey, don't put restraints on me, yeah. dog. I know we in the South, but I'm free. I'll just stand where I wanted to. <laughs> wow. And as you say that, we're over 2,800 viewers. Hey, Ooh, we them boys. Yeah, way to get that smash hype in here. <laughs> right, so I he love you too, e Sam. He is running over the disc here. All right, okay. okay. Finally made the decision, all right. And, and the tour guide? Probably gonna go on a yeah. post here, yes sir. I think he, so. He took uh, six, eight that turn, and then here's this tour guide. <coughs> now three thousand is still like really difficult for uh, clipboards to clear over. That's yeah. why yes. I'm looking back at uh, Courtney and uh, 
Ben Leverett's match yesterday is like, Corey thought he'd lost if he just left that BLS on board, but as soon as he shoot for the Vanny Fiend, you're like, oh. Well, yeah, that was now like, I'm, oh, now okay. Now I can run over. Now yeah. I can deal with this thing. Yeah, he was like, that game, like, uh, that was crazy. That, that whole game out. was just insane. You should yeah, guys definitely, definitely check that out. On We've the, had so many insane matches this weekend. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's been too real right yeah, now. If you guys want to catch those again before they go up onto YouTube uh, a little while later, you can just be sure to subscribe and access to have all the VODs. Yeah, man. Support your ARG, boy. They give you a lot of good coverage here. That's why I didn't mind driving the six hours to come through. It's a pretty nice drive. I liked it. It was okay. There were some outside parts where I definitely think we weren't going to make yeah, it through. Yeah, outside of the Twilight Zone. Wow. Stunning. Okay, Phil and I just had a moment. Yeah, we just had a moment. Good uh, moment. Sorry about that. Got to leave North Carolina. <laughs> this is still game one, yes. Yeah, this is still game one. I'm uh, hoping you're just doing some deliberation here on, on which way he wants to take this. Obviously trying to end with the best port, uh, board position possible. Looks like yeah. he'd like to just search Skarm off that tour guide. Yeah. Yep. Uh, he's going to go ahead and X XYZ summon. But for what? And yeah, guys, I know this game is kind of a slog, but that's because it uh, is. Burning Abyss are a very grindy matchup. Uh, grindy deck um, favors a long matchup, but which is interesting because Cliff Wards wants to end the game exactly. in like two turns. They, they're just trying to finish you off as quick as possible, whereas Burning Abyss, is like, his whole goal is just yeah. not let that happen, Here's obviously. Here's Dante. And Dante's going to um, go ahead and mill Alec. one. Just it one like for the Alec. One. Yeah. Okay. Um, he, he just wants to use that to get up the Skarm. Yeah. What and was the back phase, we are Do we know search. his back row? It's, um, a, it's, it's, a, it's a, a No, it's a lore of darkness. It's, it's a lore? Dead okay. lore of darkness. He redrew the allure after the uh, Durendal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like. Uh, he had the allure in his hand for a while. Yeah, but he, um, Porter did Durendal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He made him shuffle it back. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, so maybe it's, oh, maybe it's not. Okay, it, my it bad. It looked like he drew a spell. I didn't see what spell Okay, it, it might not be allure. I, I apologize for that one. Damn, man, I paid like $200 for these glasses. They ain't even working. Hmm. So uh, Porter draws. He's going to go ahead and activate Scout. Oh, he's got Rageki in his hand, too. Yeah. That could be. That's big for clearing that BLS. Yeah, that Especially. Is. An excellent draw right there. And, yeah. uh, and you get through those cards so much quicker when you're resolving those Scouts because you're just thinning that deck. Yeah. So. Did he just resolve a Scout? Yeah. Right there? What did he grab? Um, he grabbed uh, Quill Port Disc. Disc? Yeah, Disc. Disc. Yeah, he's just going for game here, then. Um. And if, yeah, if, if that if that allure is a bluff, well, I, yeah, I'm not yeah. sure if it, I'm not sure what uh, card it was. Sure, I'm pretty sure it's I, the, it's I the thought allure. it was allure, but I could be mistaken. He did shuffle it back, so it'd be yeah, kind of it'd be kind of outrageous if he actually drew the card yeah, again. Yeah, this is it. Just Raigeki, Raigeki, uh pendulum sack for disc and go for game. Yeah, I'm yeah. thinking he might have this might be well a in hand. Card. Yeah, it is. It's MSD. MSD. Okay, oh, so wow. he's gonna knock so off the trampolines. Hit the trampolines. Send that back to the pendulum. I think that's the right way to do it, just because you also break the scale that way. True. Yeah. Um, and you force him if you go. He can't. He can't make a push anymore. He can use that disc. Uh. To uh. Use the disc to uh. To finish off the scale from one to nine. Uh huh. But, but he will no longer have the disc to sacrifice. Yeah. Exactly. Um. And then by that turn, he still he has. No, right now, he has no way to deal with the BLS. I think you have to use that Raigeki. Yeah, you don't want to leave BLS up on the board. Um, Game ender. Again, just a tour guide under Dante right now. Or is it? So Dante, I, uh, I think it's tour guide. It's hard to see. So you're right, Gekki here. The only thing really, uh, Dante will get him something back, obviously, to the hand. Get on. But. Hogan search with uh, Skarm? Uh, yeah, he got the tour guide. He got another tour guide? Yeah, that's, that's what's in his hand. Okay. So Jerome with some uh, contemplation to do here, man. Not as cut and dry anymore thanks to that MST. I think I'm going to force a, a different, different path. Boy, thank you. Yeah. All right, guys, two more viewers are at 2,900. Come on, guys, spread the word, spread the word. I know this match, we're going to yeah, be man. in for we're, a we're at 28? grand finals. We're at twi almost at 29, man. That's crazy. That's awesome. Yeah. 
But yeah, sorry guys, this, I, I wish you could offer a more fast-paced match than and this at the moment. Like, but looks like he is electing to uh, put the disc to finish his pendulum. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a slow grind in here, man. Yeah. The Again, the championship's on the line, you know? Um, yeah, they are playing. I mean, there's a difference of 500 bucks right there, and that's not... Uh, uh, yeah, that money. difference matters, especially these guys are in school. That's a student loan payment, man. You got to go hard for that. That ain't easy. Yeah. Real. All right, there we go. 29-27. Thank you, guys. Just a little bit more to 3K. We can do it. We can do yeah, it. Yeah, let's, let's get it done. Uh, I don't think yeah. Jerome goes to school. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely oh, gave that man too my much credit. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> school of hard knocks, maybe, but not. Yeah. Yeah, and if you guys are worried about, like, why is this taking so long, we do not go through. Uh, all these so rounds are a top cut have been on time. So right. what just happened is uh, Porter activated climate change and elected to add the uh, the disc back to his hand. And, and uh, now he's able to, uh, yeah, to pendulum, double sack. Yeah, Pendulum summoned a uh, helix, and ha that was the second creature that he needed to double sack for the disc that he returned to his hand. Yep. Uh, the disc effect activated. He elected to search another copy of Cloport Disc and a copy of Cloport Helix. Yeah, no. yeah that climate change really changing things. No, no yeah. pun intended. Uh -huh. No pun intended. Uh -huh. Honestly, no pun intended. <laughs> the only issue here is that his extra deck is locked, and he doesn't have a way to do that BLS apart from the, the Regeki. Yeah, he's gonna, he's probably going to have to but play can that. But he, he can, he, can he game him here? Did he he pendulumed already, right? Yes, yes, he pendulumed already. I don't think he can. Because um, it's 28 plus the, uh, or 31, because Disc is the one that's going to boost their attack. But you know, yeah, so he, he can out the BLS here if he really wants to hold the, uh, the right Gekki. Yeah. He won't be able to out the Dante. But I feel, like, I feel you still hold that if you, because he doesn't have enough cards to actually put enough pressure back on the board. True, true, true. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, that 300 boost, again, will allow him to at least keep the right Gekki. You know, just for a counter push. Yeah, that, Pat. that's what I'm thinking. Um. So, um, <coughs> Cloport Disc was a uh, normal summon. Does he have the ability? He should have the ability to uh, swing over it, correct? With the yes, uh, he can. Yeah, with the he disc? Can he's at 31. So yeah, he, he can have the BLS. He can beat BLS. He doesn't have to. He doesn't have to rig it. Uh, but. Yeah, that's the only thing is he can't get rid of the Dante, and it gives, uh, I think there's a Seer. Is it Seer underneath that Dante, or is it the Tour Guide? We think it's Tour Guide. Yeah, we think it's Tour Guide. Well, yeah. Hoban ain't letting us know. Um, and there we go, guys, over 3,000 viewers. Oh, nice. you're welcome. Just shattered that 2K record, now shattered that 3K record. All right. You already know right. what it is, man. Right, making history. All, yep. We're only in game one of these grand finals right here. So over here Hoban making black history ain't even February. Let's get it right now, guys. Hoban we does have a Tour Guide underneath that Dante right now. Yeah. Um. So... If he regekis, he is going to get the Dante effect. But uh, he detached, he searched for Skarm off of Tour Guide and he attached the Skarm to search for another Tour Guide. Uh, there is a Tour Guide underneath that Dante. Yes. Um, yeah, I agree, I, I agree with Bowden. I think you just got to regeki, take, take the pressure, like apply this pressure now. Um, he's gonna get to draw or get 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 a card back off of the off of the Dante, but it's not that. Yeah, I think I think the uh, Beaver Gekis it puts him to 300, 31 yeah. and uh, 31 and 42. Yes. Yeah, so that would put a hope into 300, and uh, when you're that low, you do have to play. Uh, you do have to play in a certain kind of way. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, and he just he only has one other card, and he uh, he has the tour guide, but he doesn't have any other resources apart from that. So I feel you have to grab like a graph. Or a seer off of this Dante. Yo, this is crazy, yeah, um, yo. If this if this was like time, this grand finals would be decided in time. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but we like to not have it in time. Oh, so he's electing to run over the Dante. Okay. Instead. Leaving the BLS up. Oh, yeah, okay. No, maybe not. Okay. Wait, what? Okay, so he's running over the BLS. Okay. I still I still think you should ride Gaki and just push for damage here. I think, uh, well, he already swung, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> too late for that. But the second main and that, that's Gekki. the biggest thing is that now he has um. <laughs> All right, so yeah, uh, let's go the extra. So he is gonna fill up his pendulum zone a little bit more. Always very strong when you already have your scales established. Yeah, we'll see. Pat draws a burning abyss monster. No, he drew a fire lake. Did he? Yes. Yep, that is a trap. Correct. Very strong. 
very strong draw with the Torgat already in his hand. That Fire Lake is immediately on. Yeah, absolutely. That, that may be the draw that uh, that have been needed to completely turn this game around. Can we see what he dropped for? He Fire drew Lake. for turn to Fire Lake. The Fire Lake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he has With a four guy. Yep, yep. Yeah. Wow. Um, that is just, <laughs> that's the perfect card to draw right there. Yeah, that's pretty ignorant for Pat. <laughs> Like Hoban is currently surveying his graveyard, thinking about how he's going to sequence this turn. Uh, a couple different directions he can go with this, but clearly the strongest part of this is the Fire Lake is going to clear Porter's Pendulum Scales. And that's going to shut off. That, yeah, that's going to shut off almost all of his pl plays he can make next turn. Uh, yeah. I believe Porter only has one or two in hand right now. And unless uh, unless he has Scout, it's very hard to reestablish your Pendulum Scales with this deck with a single card. Yeah, especially after he's going to be able to refresh his hand off of Double Dante. Yeah. Um, I'd imagine you'd probably get the Seer with uh, this tour guide, just to uh, just to refresh that full field, and you can bring back the Dante after you use the Fire Lake. Yeah, that's correct. The uh, the only card in Porter's hand is that Regeki that we know about. So uh, if Hoven clears his Pendulum Scales, Porter is going to need to draw either Summoner's Art or Clipboard Scout naturally in order to uh, in order to try to come back. I have to wonder if uh, if Hoven's going to grab. Uh, Especially a Sir here, and just make another Dante, and then standby phase uh, Fire Lake to clear the field and set up a Dante in defense, or if uh, or if he wants to just try to continue to push. And it looks like he's brought a Graph to the front of his deck. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, he's used all of his copies of Sir already, so mm. that's not an option. Yeah, man. Yep. And if Sir, you guys dead and gone. Yeah, and if you guys weren't out there, why there is no. Uh, time clock up there. Our top 16, uh, so all the playoff rounds are untimed. Untimed, man. So you get uh, a lot of methodical play right now, yes. which is clear because we've been sitting here for at least about 20 minutes for tw this, 20 for this minutes? game one. Try half an hour. Yeah, probably half an hour. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just for game one. So yeah, this is uh, this is the highest level of play we. We'll see all weekend. I'm telling yep. you, man. And both both of these guys are just you know right now just chasing victory. You know how I chase yeah. white women just very effectively. Okay, they just want it. Okay, going hard for it. Got to get it. <laughs> it's real. It's real. Yeah, especially in this game one, it's it's the perfect chance to kind of feel your opponent out. Um, you do have another two games if you do throw it. For you, you want to try and get the most information you can. Yeah, man. Out of this type of match. So. Do you not like like the white women really? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta let him know. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, All right, so he does. He does bring out the graph. He is gonna go into uh, Dante here. Graph for like. Dante. Yeah, I was thinking either graph or Seer. I, I can't. I he, guess he's I lost count which one he has. He's used all of his Seers. All of his Seers. Oh, yeah, okay. he has two in the grave and one removed from play. Okay, so that's why. Yeah, the graph makes sense here. You can just throw that thing in. The He's bringing an attack. Uh, yeah, he's bringing out an attack, and he's gonna uh, go ahead Gets and mill an three. Uh, I believe that's cow cab. Is it Alec? It might be. Oh, is it cow cab? I should do really like this play here because it's gonna let him keep a Dante on board and um, be able to tr use that Scarm instead to trigger off and grab that last tour guide. Yes. I think, with that fire lake. Yeah, who knew having a searchable or a recurrable uh, Icarus at Super Icarus attack would be uh would be good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure the R and D department just. <laughs> yeah, they. We're gonna break this format again. What R and D department? Hey man. Yeah, they're the ones. Who somebody's making the somebody's making the cards, okay? Yeah, and these are all TCG exclusives. <laughs> exactly. America has a six sense of humor. <laughs> I'm they clearly, America's just messed up. Dorito. A Mountain Dew? Oh, so That's he's disgusting. Gonna, he's going to ram his Dante into that disc. He's not lying. Yeah, look it up. Oh, so um, it looks like what he did is he brought the Dante out in attack mode. And uh, after milling, elected to swing it into the disc and add Sir back to his hand. Yes. 
So he's going to go ahead and special he summon He can special the Sir and then set the Fire Lake. So like I said, regardless of this play, he's yeah. going to have a Dante on board still. Yeah. All right. And he can bring the Dante back with the Seer if he wants to. This is just uh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, it's good, good, uh, definitely good board positioner for Pat here. Let's see what our Jerome drew. And during the standby phase, Patrick Hoban is going to activate. Yeah, he's just going to go ahead and let lake. it go. Not even give him the opportunity to do anything. <sighs> That's ridiculous. Ooh. Just that fire lake off of the yeah off the top. <laughs> we haven't seen what Porter drew yet. If he draws the uh, if he draws the scout or a way to find the scout, he can reestablish his pendulum skills. Yeah. And he'll be right back in this. But uh, Hoban is electing to destroy his Sir and his Skarn. And that's going to put a Dante back on board, mm -hmm. if he so chooses, which yeah, it looks, looks like, like he is. Yeah, Dante, because now he just has another way to recur that, uh, that Fire Lake. Yeah, crazy. And uh, Jerome is out of scouts. So oh. Upstart, just looking for something. And it's a trap. Yeah. Uh, it looked like it might have been a warning. Like I feel like he just a little too late. I, I feel like he really need to right. Like, see, this is just a desperation yeah, Regeki here. Just forced a Regeki away two Dantes. Uh, Hoban's gonna get two Dante yeah, activations. Yeah, that, that's the crate. Like Dante, just one of the on best top, floaters in the game. Yeah, on top of the floating Skarm activation, we're waiting for at the end of turn. Yeah, and he and just grabs Fire Lake and uh, Sir. Sir. Yeah. And, uh, now, and this, now he gets a Skarm yeah, effect. Man, this, def uh, this match now obviously snowballing uh, in Pat's favor right here. Yeah. He's going to go ahead and add uh, – he's pulled Graft to the front of his deck. Yeah, and what's already big is he's already used that one climate change, so he yeah. doesn't really have any other way to refresh his hand to set the scales. Yeah. I don't know, Pat's still considering here. He's, he's looking at a Rubik. I think, yeah, I think he's deciding between Graf and Rubik right now. And he does decide on the Rubik. Uh, I think it was a trap. Uh, I didn't see. Um, Here comes Rubik. So a normal summon of Sir and a special summon of Rubik. And he's going to bottomless. Sir's going to get bottomless. Sir away. So that's pretty good. Um, Porter, at least a little bit of life right now. Yeah, he's at 42. So, I mean, depending on what's in Patrick's hand, if he can push for a game here, obviously he's going to take it. But uh, yeah. there's a chance the room's going to be just fine. Yeah. yeah, the problem is that just Jerome is out of almost all of his resources. Uh, all the scouts are gone. His climate change is gone. Yeah, and this is definitely why one of those reasons why you see Clifford, uh, Clifford wanting to end the game so quickly. Because uh, Burning Abyss, like, you know, a lot of times they're just going to out-resource you in the long game. Yeah, if they can stay alive and survive, you know, you, any kind of OTK push you're going for, I mean, it's just going to benefit them in the long run. Yeah, this is exactly... Ooh. Hoban just drew a copy of Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. Yeah, so. see, that's just... So oh, man, we got the 3.3K viewers. Ooh, not, hey. bad, not bad. Just for a bit. <laughs> what up? What up? Yep. Keep them coming, um, yo. Let them know we in the building right now. Yeah, man. Let's Still see. game one. See if yeah. we can get to 4K, so we, man. So we gonna be in the oh, building for a while. To be fair, we've been in this building the entire weekend. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. Hmm. We have. Oh. <laughs> well, sir. <laughs> <laughs> got you there. Um. I mean, that's the biggest thing. I know, like, Hoban doesn't look to be in the best position, but it's not that just he has monsters right now. And you right. This is this is the type of game that Burning Abyss love to play. Just grind you out, grind you out. They're able to recycle their resources like constantly. That's the second Rubik. Yep. So we're just gonna overlay real quick. Yep. Um, I think he has one one more Dante left. Or. Um, he's out of Dante's. Is he? I believe so. Okay. Well, he's looking. He put acid to the top. He might just be looking to take him down to twelve hundred. And the important thing to notice, he's not only out of Dante's, he's also out of well, Sirs. Well, so he uh, no longer has a way to recur. All right. Dante's. So now yes. the burning abyss player, obviously those also, resources starting to dwindle yeah. as well, which it could be very good for Drone, depending on what he draws yeah. next. 
Now the problem yeah, there is that, yeah, yeah, is that the man with dwindling resources damage, yeah. has a 3,000 meter on board. Yeah. And uh, Jerome's about to get... Uh, and he has wing blast oh, set, too. That's a wing blast. So that should be, this should be it. This, this could just be elementary at this point. We'll see. And uh, he yeah, gives yeah. a thumbs up. Just All right. And Pat, yeah, Pat takes game one. Uh, a very long game one. About 30 minutes there. Those two went yeah, at it. Uh, back and forth action. But uh, Pat was able to just go ahead and claw his way through that. Yeah, we, it got really... Um, that pivotal turn we got to go back to where Jerome was able to have a, a big pendulum summon. And he, he held off on that Raigeki. Yeah. Um, being being able to clear Hoban's board because the time he was able to do it was just out of desperation, just to equalize the field rather than when he had when he had board control. Um, That's crazy, really man. That, that one match lasted longer than one of the finals of the ARGs. Yeah. Who's that guy who got scraped up, Larry? Then Sahib. <laughs> shouts to shouts to yeah. Sahibi and Larry. Sahabi and Larry. Oh, yeah. Sahabi. Mm. Sahabi. Yeah. Yeah. I just butchered that uh, man's name. My yeah. apologies. I don't know nothing. Yeah, that was uh, that was three <laughs> games and I think eight turns. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Although that was a Mermail Girdra matchup, and Sahabi always, or he he had um, uh, Gen X Undyne, Abyss Megalo, and Soul Charge all three games. Yeah, he just so OD'd. Yeah, that, that was absolutely insane. I'm assuming you tuned in on that. I did. That? I was yeah. watching that. <laughs> all right, guys, we're over 3,100 again. Thank you very much for uh, staying with us so far. We have a backpack on the table, I think. Uh, Hoven walked. Hoven stepped away for a moment. Yeah, I think he's doing so a bathroom well, he break. He probably yeah. had to take a pee. He was here, damn, sitting there playing for <laughs> drinking water and stuff. Yeah. All right. So while uh, while we're waiting, on yeah, while, while we're, we're waiting, waiting let's that. go take a look at the deck list. Right, look, I just want to point one thing out. Patrick Hoven has beautiful handwriting. This man clearly yeah. went to Catholic school. I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, that's uh, that handwriting get, where if you mess you mess up one line, they hit you uh, with a ruler. Okay, <laughs> you're gonna learn today. Mercilessly. Yeah. That's All just right, real. So let's take a look at the quick side. Well, we do know Jerome Porter has. So there's only five different cards, but the ones that are crucial yeah. are three Flying Sea and uh, potentially three Monarch Storm Forth. What is also huge is he does have access to three Wiretap um, and and uh, and uh, Hoban is uh, very trap heavy. Yeah, so you're right. You're right. I, do, I do like Wiretap as a, as a great way to not to out the Fire Lake and get it back into a place into a zone where you can't easily uh, fetch it. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, looking at Hoven's side deck, he does have the uh, the three copies of Vanity's Fiend, three copies of Majesty's Fiend, three Monarch Stormforth, two Puppet Plants, uh, and then the four big ones: one Bottomless Trap Hole and three copies of Fairy Wind. Yep, and yeah, the Fairy, fairy Wind coming, definitely going to be for. Does he have Spell Shattering Air, or is it just Fairy Wind? No, it's, it's just, just Fairy Wind. Okay. Yeah. So it's he didn't he didn't overside. It doesn't look like. Yeah, he's definitely going to be bringing yeah. in the three Fairy Winds, and he's definitely going to be bringing in the Bottomless Trap Hole. Uh, bottomless, one of the most effective cards against Pendulum Summon. Absolutely. Yeah, and um, actually, yeah, that's why. Um, if we take a look at the handwriting here, um, well, this is Hoban's own handwriting, um, but for most of the other ones of like Hoban, Desmond, and them, it's we have uh, either Zach or Ben Leverett writes them out because they have uh, very beautiful cursive. Yeah. So, um, but definitely looking at Jerome's side deck, uh, fly Flying Seas, without doubt, going to be the one that's going to break this uh, matchup open. Because it's it shuts down those huge uh, <laughs> look at Dante Jerome's, plays. Look at Jerome's list. This day one hooked on Fox, right? Uh huh. Oh my God. Everything. On, everything. I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> and now Every, you're everything scratched out. I know. Jerome I, kills I know. Me. I know y'all are buddies. That's my boy. Oh, that's my boy. You've been putting him on blast. I'm gonna put him on blast. Did. That's my boy. I'm gonna put him on blast for making me him me buy him a five dollar biscuit when he's about to win a thousand or fifteen hundred. Yeah. I ain't got no money. Okay. Yeah. Bruh. No. <laughs> he's Let he's me still dollar. mad. <laughs> Well, he's about to have that money. All right, so they're sitting down, getting ready to side deck. All right, yeah, Pat's back. Um, so it shouldn't be too much longer before game two gets yep. popping. Then you guys can get a good glimpse of those, uh, of the uh, the trophies right there. We can look over there. Yeah, man. And the rings, too. You get the rings, too. Yep, all of top eight gets a uh, a ring. That's with crazy, The ARG man. Circuit Series logo on it. Right on it. And they do look good. Try yeah, to nice. get that commentator's ring. Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think the commentator's ring is actually just a ring pop. It's probably just, yes, onion, it it's probably just an onion ring. <laughs> I would still take it. I would un un undoubtedly take it, and I would probably still eat it. <laughs> I have no doubt about that. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, no, that's <laughs> pat back. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, gosh. Man, guys, could you stop uh, plugging his SoundCloud? <laughs> <laughs> right now. Who's SoundCloud? Uh, Jerome Porter's SoundCloud. Yes, Jay Freeze, that's him. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, 
there is no cost on the ring. You just got to earn one. Top yeah, man. Or higher. <sighs> Thank you, Alex. Thank or, you for linking that. Or you can acquire one from one of the less uh, savory gentlemen. Man, how you look walking around with a ring you didn't wear? Hey, man. Didn't people, that's buy, like, that's people buy Super Bowl rings all the time. That's like the ugly sister yeah, like wearing <laughs> the pretty sister's ring, engagement ring, because she can't get a man, okay? Don't be the ugly sister. Earn your sh <laughs> Earn your man. Earn it. <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> all right, we're just keeping it real between matches, man. That's all That's all we can do. Wow. Yeah, and they're still digging deep in their side deck right now. Um, we still got a potential four games ahead of us, so plenty of Yu-Gi-Oh still. Um, I actually enjoyed today. Um, so we got to see the uh, third and fourth uh, match yeah, we'll have on stream. Yep. And that was a good one, too, just Uh, no, there will not be a uh, Jerome Porter concert tonight if he wins. There actually might be. Actually, uh, you like yeah, all right. Yeah, I know okay, we dictate okay. what goes on in the building, but that parking garage up front, oh, we <laughs> we about to get it popping. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, let's uh, go back to uh, Hope and Side Deck real quick. Um, I know the pub plants aren't going to really come into play. Yeah. But he does like the th definitely the three fairy winds in the bottom list are going to come in. Yeah, absolutely. And um, uh, the the defensive traps that uh that Porter already main decks are also going to be pretty good in this uh, these situations. You have to be a huge fan of uh, of him being kind of free sideboarded for a matchup like this. Yes, especially. I don't know if he would keep the uh, the skill drains um, in game two, game three. I'm not the. It's a great ga uh, game one card, but like like we saw um, with is. Courtney and Tyree's matchup, uh, Courtney has the soul drain main deck, the skill drains main deck uh, to win that game one, and he still wasn't able to do it. Yeah, um, and it's it's really tough it when be. you have to fight um, fight or be on the back foot when you're already like sided in. Uh huh. So, <coughs> well, we're about to see uh, they're taking their time, sweet time on their side deck. Yeah, man. Uh, now, um, sweet time in the match, sweet time on the side deck. It's all good. Hoven does have other cards in his sideboard. Um, he does have Majesty's Fiend, and he does have Vanity's Fiend. And you have to wonder if either of those are going to come in against this uh, Clipboard deck. I think there's a, uh, I think there's going to be a very interesting dialogue there as far as uh, their merits versus the downside. Yeah, the big, the biggest thing that um, I do think of him bringing like the Majesty's Fiend um, more so than the Vanities is it does give you an out to uh, a flying sea yeah. on your board. For so sure, it's an easy way to clear it. Uh huh. Absolutely. So we'll see though. All right, they're pile shuffling up. All right, man, we're about to jump into game two. Uh, could very well see another long, drawn-out one, or um, Jerome could finish it off pretty quick. We'll find yeah, out. Because I'm assuming he's going to take the play. Absolutely. On this match. All right, and again, thank you guys for tuning in so f uh, so far this uh, Sunday afternoon. Um, been over 3K today. Broke that. We shattered that 2K record over down uh, top eight. Mm. So Broke just, it. Just been riding that train. Sh shattered that glass, boy. Stone <laughs> yeah. cold in the building. Oh <laughs> <laughs> had to get that. Had to get one wrestling reference yeah, in, man. Might as well. <sighs> you still been pretty good about not weaving the smash in, but we have a lot of we have a lot of smash weavers now. Yo, that's Smash, that's my family, man. Yu Gi Oh is my family too now, man. Like yeah. we, we, I'm just. <laughs> yeah, everyone's family. I'm telling you, man. I got I got wives in different states, all over the place with the <laughs> with the family. <laughs> 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 all right, and uh, these gentlemen gonna get started here soon. Jerome yeah. is on the play, and being on the play <laughs> is huge with full ports. <laughs> Yo, Joe's dead. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, rip. I mean, rip it, it's one thing about, uh, yeah, I might as well fulfill the stereotype while you're at it, I guess. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> let's keep it classy. Uh, too late for that. Anyway. <laughs> too late for that, okay. <laughs> Porter definitely starting off. We go start off with the. Uh, the right way with the scout. Yeah, that's the best way yeah. to do it. Scout for the sacrifice, I mean, he already has uh, nothing to set, set the scales. Uh, Porter also with a pot of duality in his hand. Yeah, yeah and uh, another card. It's it's not great going second, but it is so powerful going first. It is you absolutely. Need, you need to burn your normal summon on that. Uh, he's got the ulti ones too. That's pretty. He he only Ooh, only bowls out. He only knows how to bowl out. And you have to imagine. This uh, is a little tough here because um, does have access to the odd eyes along with the scout. I think you have to take Tramplinks with uh, Porter's Hand is Book of Moon, uh, Sacrifice. Uh, I didn't see the other two cards yet. 
Yeah, uh, looked like I he had a carrier as well. I, yeah, I imagine he takes the uh, odd the odd eye so he can grab the trampolinks. Okay. And that that's fair. It is going to allow him to thin his deck. Yep. And here's the carrier with the sacrifice, and he has a wire. He did bring in wire, wire taps, tap. so very good. You guys, I know you're thinking uh, this might be the last game. This is a best three out of five. It's yeah, a two out of three. Yes. So Pat's still got uh, two more to win. And Jerome, so let's see if we can uh, maybe get this back three. But All right, Pat gets a chance to draw now. Uh, it's a very strong opening there from Jerome. Yeah, Phoenix Swimming Blast. Pat, well, on also, the other hand, Pat also does have a fairy yes. wind. Yeah, but that's, uh, that's big. It's Wing Blast, Allure, looks like a Rubik and a fairy wind. As along with uh, Skarm and uh, yeah. Skarm, and I believe the last one is Alec. Uh, I can't get a good, can't get a good. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, that's a fairy wind right at the front. Yeah. Yep, I'm gonna play Allure first. Dig a little bit deeper, yeah. draw two cards. And we got a graph and an MST. MST in hand, okay. Very good. So that's some good, uh, very good pendulum disruption right there in Pat's hand uh, in the form of uh, MST and Fairy Wind. And it looks like he's brought Calcav to the front of his hand, probably thinking about exiling that. Uh, very low impact Burning Abyss pretty much doesn't serve a purpose other than being a, It's just another name, another yeah. Another name. yeah it, although it is very nice at balancing that sacrifice. Um, to force them to, to oh no it is only set cards never mind yeah set cards yeah. it can't doesn't do anything to sacrifice yeah, caught myself there. otherwise it would, ha it would have a lot more utility in this so matchup gross. it would have a lot more utility yeah yeah and he's gonna go ahead and special summon Rubik yeah. to start out with and then normal summon grab all right uh, seeing if uh, Porter has any responses yeah the only issue like we know wiretap can be so powerful against cards like Fire Lake but Against very monster heavy openers, it does it it has nothing to stop a Virgil or a, a Dante. Very true. Yeah. And I feel he's actually should um, I know he's debating whether to go Virgil or Dante here. Looks, looks like, like, like he's decided on uh, Virgil. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see a Virgil. Yeah, yeah, here it comes. And for those guys who are unaware with these names of the Burning Abyss monsters, and you're a little unaware, these are all based off of uh, Dante Alighieri's uh, The Inferno. Monsters there from all the different circles, from cir circles like 8 through 9. And uh, Dante's our main hero. And followed up with, uh, right there, Virgil, rock star of the Burning Abyss. Um, he's going to be able to trigger this graph right now. And I imagine he'd probably bring out a Seer. Um, a Seer or Skarm? Does he, ha does he have another uh, Burning Abyss in his hand to be I able to make a Dante? A, I believe he has a Skarm in his hand. Yeah. Oh, okay. So still got the options here. He has a Burning Abyss. I don't know which one it is, but I think it is Skarm. This Skarm, that's, that's fantastic because he can set all his hand yeah, and still have some discard fodder for that Wing Blast. So, uh, interesting to note, he does only have one Burning Abyss creature in his hand at the moment. So he has to decide if he either wants to go into a Dante using the Skarm or if he would rather bounce the Scout back into the deck. Um, now, obviously, Sacrifice makes bouncing the Scout kind of a riskier play, but uh, the option is available to him. He is going to go ahead and Special Summon Sir off of the graph. Yes, sir. Oh, you. Oh, me. One chain, one day later, so welcome to your sixth and final round. You have 40 minutes. You may begin. All right. And it looks like he's going to go ahead and use the effect of Virgil. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what What's he going to hit? Discarding the Skarm. And it's Scout. Yep. Yeah. Get rid of the Scout. All right. Right there, I'll slow him right down. Uh, eliminate all those those searches real quick. Um, now again, uh, Porter is going to be able to uh, if he can get that sacrifice off the board. He does have access to another scout in that way. Yes, yes he but does. But Hoban does have Fairy Wind, and he does have Phoenix and, Wing and MST, and End Phase Scarm is going to put that um, Wing Blast online. Probably grab a uh, Hoban with a very, graph, very maybe? Graph. yeah graph. graph yeah Hoban with a very disruptive heavy hand backed yeah. up by a Virgil uh, hard to beat 
Yeah, man, this is this is a really good um a really good answer to that that really good uh, opening that uh, uh, Porter had. Yeah, absolutely. So, and that's what these I mean these that's what these decks do, man. Consistent openings really g you know get you far. Yeah. So even if your opponent ODs, you you still have a chance to answer, and uh, we're seeing that here being demonstrated perfectly by uh, two of the best in the game right now that's going at it. And Porter is going to go title. ahead and activate uh, or play scout and yep. activate it. And Hovind um, should have the MST in response. He does indeed. Yes, he does. Playing no games right now. And Fairy Wind still. Yeah, Fairy Ever Wind, present. Fairy Wind and Macro. Phoenix Wing win back yep. last both. Uh, Porter with just a single card in his hand now, but yeah. uh, we do know he has Wiretap for uh, Phoenix Wing win last or Fairy Wind. Yeah, if he chooses to use it, um, depending on which one he decides to Wiretap, it's going to be really uh, impact yes. how this game 2 goes. Absolutely. Um, interesting to see if Hoven will potentially uh, wing blast to try to force this out early. Think maybe try and bait it out because we know obviously Hoven well aware that the three wire taps are in the side deck yes, have yes. access to that list. Jerome went first, you know it's pretty elementary. He's going to have those wire taps in. And Jer yeah, Jerome. While he does he does certainly play normal traps. Yeah. Um, he does. You have to you have, you have to imagine that there are. Uh, All right, actually, we come back. Sorry, I had a little sound issue for a second. All right, we back, um, we back. We back at uh, thir up to 3,200 viewers. Oh, Lord uh, have right. mercy. Glad seeing you guys. Um, yeah, drum's still in the tank here. Yeah. And it looks like he's going to go ahead and activate Book of Moon on, uh, I believe that was Virgil. Yeah, it looks like. And that's going to just, uh, that's going to kill the Sir, but it is going to allow Hoban to bring back Skarm and give him another surge during the end phase. Yeah, we're yep. swinging at that. The Virgil. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's just gonna let it die. And draw, draw a card. Draw a card. Yep. And it looks like he. I d looks like bottomless trapple. Yeah, yeah bottomless that's trapple. such a great card against the pendulum matchup. Yeah. You know, they try and go off, and you just one card. Yeah, just shuts them down. Enough. So, uh, Skarm is gonna go ahead and search. Uh, you have to wonder if he's just gonna go ahead and grab Sir here and potentially clear out the carrier, or. If he's uh, he if he has something more explosive in mind. Yeah, maybe. And it looks like he has brought Sir to the front of the deck. Yeah, I feel that's the right play here. It also lets you bring back that Virgil. Yes. Very uh, true. Yes. Very so true. So crucial. The recursion of this deck is just insane. Yeah, and that's yeah, why they, favor they favor that long matchup yep. <coughs> or the long game. It has some very very strong loops. I right, hope we're going to draw for turn, and another that bottom is going to be accompanied by another wing blast. So right there, the disruption is real right now. This man, two wing blasts and a fairy wind. Yes. And he's going to go ahead and activate the first, and he's sending, who's that? His back row. And, uh, he's gonna use oh, he's going to play, he's gonna play the wire tab. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but the biggest thing is it just frees up that, uh, that, that seer activation anyway. Yeah. And Jerome, obviously going to elect to play it and not have it back on the top of the deck. Not going to do a lot as far as drawing goes. Now Virgil's going to hit the field again. Uh, Hoven does have another Burning Abyss in his hand, and it is Graph as an activation for the uh, the Virgil for the carrier. Yeah, or for, yeah, to bounce carrier. Yeah, he probably send the sacrifice and just run over the carrier. Nice, yeah. and that's one of the few, just, just one of the few ways to get rid of that carrier or that that uh, sacrifice. That sacrifice. Yeah. yeah. Which, by all means, is just <laughs> so imposing when it's on board. Yeah, because. It no matter how it goes to the yard, yeah, you're getting it something. It's crazy. Yeah. And it protects that monster. It can't be destroyed by battle. Yeah. Although we've seen a lot of these matches, it's like a double-edged sword where you really want to activate, get that sacrifice in grave, and you just want to ram it into something, but you can't do it. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I think the thing I've been most impressed about is just here bringing back Virgil is just so... I'd rather have that than Fire Lake. I know that they're both insane, but that's the, oh, that, yeah. this is the play that has impressed me so Ooh, much. Ooh, okay. Flying, Flying C flies. makes its first appearance right now, coming out the side deck and into effect. Now, I still feel this is too unfortunately, little too late. Yeah, this is, yeah, uh, uh, this is could be a situation of too little too late. Uh, keep in mind, but too, that uh, even even Cloport Scout isn't going to get him out of this, as Hoven does have a fist down fairy win. Yep. And uh, Porter is completely top decking at this point. Yeah. Yeah, and, he, and Sir? Hoban also does have that second Phoenix and Wing Blast yeah. that he just drew this turn. Absolutely. Now Unfortunately, Sir they can't use that on your own field, but... Yeah, now yeah. Sir has already used his effects. 
So uh, he, Hoban isn't going to be able to bring out Skarmy and get another search. Yeah. Uh, but he does still have that Virgil, and that's incredibly yeah. powerful on such an empty board like that. That's the biggest thing is uh, Clifford's cannot get over 2,500. Uh, 2, um, like very easily, most of them they're gonna come in at 18, like uh, the carrier if they're normal summoned. Yeah. And uh, or special from the deck, they have to be pendulum door. Uh, another way to actually get them uh, at like 24 or higher. Uh, and disc is the only other thing that he can actually bring out. And he's gonna set his whole hand right there. So now that other wing blast is not live, he has no cards in his no. hand. So only bottomless is uh, gonna be the one. the threat right here. And uh, Porter, who is forced into top decking. Not looking good right now. Pat Hoban may be on the verge of going up 2-0 in this grand final set. Best of five. Yeah, very uh. Reading over. It looks like he's reading over. And he's going to upstart Goblin. Yep. Now, another thing, if he sided in those Majesty's Fiends or those Vanity's Fiends, that flying C is just fodder to bring him out. Yeah. So. Very, very interesting game of uh, one-upsmanship. It looks like uh, Hoban did draw a graph to uh, bounce the back row. Yep. And uh, while the graph... Yeah, shuffle it back in. Yeah. And the graph is going to activate and potentially allow him to get a Skarm here. Yeah, so yeah, those, those like tribute monsters are in the building. Yep, and that Skarm going to the end, so that's going to give him something nice. He's going <laughs> to push for damage with that Flying yeah, C. Yeah, Why flying not? Flying C is getting into the red zone. Yeah, and, he, and, and, and Porter, Porter just takes a, scoops, yeah, yeah, takes a quick peek and uh, takes a quick peek, shuffles it up, and... Uh, yeah, it's going to wrap up game two. Hoban in the lead, 2-0. And as you said, historically, the player who's won the first two has not – they've gone on to win the championship. Yes, There's been no 3-0 yeah. comeback. Nope. So, the way I mean, Hoban's playing, that might just uh, be I mean, the case right now. Jerome may be, might be the first person. Yeah. There's always a first time for everything. That's true. That's true. Yeah. The man's been on – he's been on a hot streak yeah. all tournament. But Hoban looking like he just busted yeah. in, like looking like a fireman. <laughs> just <laughs> putting that fire out, boy. I can see Hoban being a fireman. Seriously. Maybe. Yeah. Being a fireman? I, I, oh, I can see him busting down a door, so. Busting down a door like Why not have a hose like in hand? Busting through the, like, walls or a door like the Kool-Aid man? Yeah, man. Yeah, maybe. Why not? Put out the fire with that. Yeah, man. Put a nice coat on him, a, a fire hose in his hand. Oh, yeah. Sounds, like you're, sounds like you're setting up a photo shoot. Oh, I'm pretty sure you no, found out. I was going to say, what in the world is going on? <laughs> is, is, this, is this next year's ARG calendar or something, hey, man. man? Like <laughs> The 12, months, good, 12 months of Hoban. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The fall, the fall get him in the khakis and the summer shorts. Yeah. We got we gotta make this happen. <laughs> we gotta see. Um, God like. I mean, he is a uh, he's a he's a fraternity uh, fraternity member in the South, so uh, yeah, there's man. plenty of cool plenty of <sighs> plenty of clothing brands. We can oh, mark it off. Oh, that's oh, a sponsorship right there. Bruh, I'm making us money right now. Oh, we can get those. Uh, we can get discounts on boat shoes. Dude, I love those boat shoes. I'm not and, uh, gonna lie. And the, and the you can wear you can wear them without socks. I know. Without dude. socks. Shout out to that guy who was walking around here barefoot the other day. Yeah. Guys, if please, you're going to come to our events. Um, I know hygiene. you might come to. Hygiene. You might, if you beat. Yeah. March to beat your own drum. Please wear, please wear shoes. Um, yeah, I don't care what you march to. Just put some damn socks on, okay? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, there's a reason we invented shoes and socks. Yeah, man. Uh, use them. It's all Gucci. Great invention. What up, chat? How you liking the action, man? We got, we got potentially one game to go unless Jerome's able to go yep. ahead and do the 3 3 0 comeback. I don't know. We might we might see it very well happen. We're it's up to 3,300 3, viewers. Glad yeah, to man. see you guys. Let's see if uh, Jerome can uh, run it run it out on the back three. Otherwise, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, otherwise, Hoban might just be a four-time ARG champion. That's crazy. Four yeah. times, man. That's that's Michael Jordan level right there. Yeah, he, this, like getting the ring. Yeah, these past this past two years, he's just been the most consistent player in the game. You can't argue against that. Yeah, Hoban been doing the damn thing, yeah. man. No, he missed nationals this year, but uh, like uh, he's still top nationals. He's yeah, got top he's sixteen. Yeah, he's still top, top sixteen yeah. with Sylvans, I believe. So yes, the guy still just. Pfft. And then uh, he made yeah. up for uh, after worlds by winning his uh, first YCS. Oh. Yeah, he he made up for it. Apparently, that's yeah. a disappointing showing. Yeah, <laughs> well, only a top sixteen at nationals. That's yeah. it. This guy's this guy's a fraud. <laughs> You can hear the whispers. Is Hoban done? Only a top 16. Seen only a top 16, yeah. <coughs> Alright guys, we're just about shuffling up, getting started for game number three. Again, Porter on the play. Uh, definitely the place to be, especially with uh, the Clipboard deck. That is a little curious. Uh. Alright. Alright, it's all or nothing right here for uh, Jerome Porter. He needs to win this tournament life right here. 
tournament game for this man. You don't want to get 3 0 in grand finals, but we'll yeah. find out. A good, already can tell it's a pretty good start here. He's got the summoner's art, which means he's searching for the scout. The scout's going to yield him another card. So this is a, a strong opening for Porter, but we saw a strong opening from last time, and Hoban was able to grind through it and take the game. So uh, we'll looks, see how he plays this. Looks yep. like Hoban doesn't have as much hate. I believe I see an MST okay. and a wing, and a wing blast, blast, but yep. no, uh, no fairy wind like the previous game. Gotcha. I don't know why I just tried to turn my head to get a better look at Hoban's hand. That just happened. Wow. <laughs> And uh, Porter electing to search for Sacrifice there. And he's going to go ahead and normal summon Disc and equip it with the Sacrifice. With the sacrifice. Yep. Yeah. And, um, and three face down. Okay. Whole hand on the table right now. Oh, we're playing anti now. Yeah, we're playing yeah. that kind of game. Yeah. Summon, it, summon a 2100 beater. Set, set three. I'm going to try and get a good look at uh, Hoban's hand here. Tour guide. Immediate um, goes for Tour guide. We got, we got vanities, the vanities immediately. And there's uh, MST. Now there's MST in here. He's yeah. gonna have to hit the um the uh, vanities directly, obviously. That's if he wants to free up this tour guide. Part of it wants to feel is he just let that let that ride. He can crash through the tour guide. Um, MST uh, MST Mephis two and just free up because uh, he has two burning abyss monsters in hand. Yeah, very true. Um, so just take that plus one off the vanities. Um, and I know you guys asked him about soul charge. Um, that has been the new innovation, uh, for this tournament is soul charge alongside. The burning of the new burning of this monsters, including the tuner, yeah, man. lets you not only make Virgil out of nowhere, just bring Virgil right back. It's crazy. I mean, Virgil, that's the that's the kind you know, Virgil obviously being a synchro monster, you need those materials. Yeah. So you're gonna get value out of that either way. And with more names in the yard, just don't even, don't even worry about it. Soul charge becomes that much rele more relevant again for burning abyss players. Yeah, definitely just the the, the raw power of having so many uh, so many searches between Graf and Sir and the recursion of Dante. Yeah. Just even the Burning Abyss creatures that don't really have relevant effects are strong just by being Burning Abyss creatures. Exactly. Yeah, and I know this is what Hoban's really thinking on right now. Um, just is he going to... Is he going to go ahead? He's yeah, going to hit it. Oh, uh, he's going to hit okay. it. Yeah, he's not playing around right now. Ow. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. And that is a Graf. Coming out to play. All right. Cut it up. Let's see where Pat decides to take it from here. Yeah, he also does oh. have a wing blast in hand, too. Yeah, exactly. We're probably Dante right now. Yeah, Dante is going to hit the field here. Right. Um, I mean, There's just very few situations you don't want to just put Dante on. Yeah. All right, sends Graf Mills for cost here, I believe three. And Wing Blast, uh, Fire, Lake Fire Lake, and, and a Skarm. That's so a great mill. That is a fantastic mill for Patrick Hoban here. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely important to uh, to try to establish access to Fire Lake as quickly as possible. Uh, Fire Lake can be absolutely backbreaking against some yeah, of these uh, Quillport boards. All right, some some guy just literally yelled, "Let's go, Pat!" <laughs> so shout outs to that guy. Clearly, with a sportsman mentality. Yep. Well, we're we're uh, not allowed to be biased, but he sure as well can be. Yeah, he can do whatever he wants. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Do whatever he wants, regardless. He's an yeah, American. Yeah. If you guys didn't realize, that was uh, that was Desmond. <laughs> oh, of course. Uh, yelling. Yeah, see. Oh, guys, we're already up to 3,400 3, viewers. That jumped real quick. Yeah, man. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Let's see if we can get 35 before this match ends. Yeah, guys, make sure you actually make a Twitter. Follow me. Phenomenal E. Plug that real quick. One time. It was underneath your name and camera, so I think it was plugged multiple times. Hey. Hey. Okay. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So Hoban's still deciding here. Is he tanking on the Skarm here? Or the, oh, the Graph. Yeah. The Graph, yeah. What he wants to bring out with the Graph, Skarm's going to activate at the end phase. And it is Alec, I think? Uh, No, that is Calcab. That's Calcab? Okay. Calcab, yes. Calcab's like the horsey-looking thing. Yeah. Alec is the one with the, the hair. Yeah. 
much darker. So he has, yeah, he has another tour guide. Is that a seer? Is he, yeah, uh, there's a seer. Go special that seer. Um, another vanities? I don't think so. Uh, looks like Porter's just gonna let this go through, yep. and uh, Hoden's gonna bring out a second. Oh wait, hold, oh, uh, hold Porter's on. Porter's still thinking. Perhaps it is a second emptiness. Is that Sarah on his wrist tattoo? Yes. Mm, I don't know who that is. I hope she ain't watching though. That boy, <laughs> that boy getting bodied right now. Wow. <laughs> that, that's my man's too. That's my man's. That was the sound of glass breaking. That was somebody's actually the sound of uh, a banner psyche. being broken down. Somebody's psyche is just gone. Oh, this joint real. This play right now, they thinking. Seems like a lot of these people don't know about Mountain Dew flavored Doritos. Uh, or Doritos flavored Mountain Dew. I told I told you it was real. That's disgusting. disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Disgusting. Yep. I'm going to Canada. Mountain Dew <laughs> 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 who, am I, who am I kidding? I can never cross a border. <laughs> oh my God. Doritos roulette is real. What? Doritos roulette? Yeah. What is that? You don't know what flavor you're getting. Yeah. Wow. That's sick. I got him when he opened Doritos. Alright, so Hogan's still debating what he wants to do here. Oh, well, he's not doing anything. Jerome decided to flip up that second emptiness. Good decision. Yeah. Very strong on his part. Yeah, definitely going to slow down Hogan here. We're getting where he wants to be anyway. So. I know we got it wrong the whole time. It's not. It's it's not Mountain Dew flavored Doritos. It's Doritos flavored Mountain Dew. That's yeah. disgusting either way. <laughs> why are we having this conversation? Because uh, why why aren't we having this conversation? Why? Well, all right. Well, I mean, as slow as they're playing, we do have time to grab a snack. But, again, a lot of thinking going on here. Patrick yeah, up, yeah. too. He's just looking to close it out right now. Yeah, he doesn't want to see a game a game four and uh, allow Jerome yeah. the chance to bring it back. Yeah, I know. Can't blame him for that. Yeah, although they, he, d Pat does need to make a play um, after tanking after the uh, – after, uh, after that second vanity's emptiness. It's like Hoven may just end his turn after setting that wing blast. He's gonna go ahead and search for Skarm. I guess he's just gonna pass the turn. <laughs> now, at least right now, the only issue is is that uh, Jerome has a perfect setup for the the Clifford disc. True. For this turn. Yes. True. Um, it will. The only issue is though is that he's still locked under the emptiness. Yeah, because if he brings turn. it out, he won't be able to get the monsters. Correct? No, he won't. Yeah, so. That is a problem, um, unless he can turn off that vanity somehow, which may very well be possible. <laughs> yeah, it's the thing, guys. Vanity's at this destruction effect. Um, we'll start a chain, so they can't interrupt anything. Yeah. Which is why that, which is the reason why Hoban used MST during the same the same chain. Yeah. And if you guys are wondering about the numbers, uh, number one and number eleven, those are their ranks at the end of uh, a Swiss heading into top sixteen. So Jerome Porter finished uh, day one, eight and zero, oh, and uh, Pat Hoban finished uh, I think X one. X one draw. Yeah, X one one. All right. So it looks like Jerome's gonna have a turn here. Um, now that Pat has decided to search Tour God, I believe. And let's see what Jerome draws. Gonna activate Scout. Oh, and that's Barry Wing. Oh, that's Wing Blast. Wing Blast. And yeah. Um, he likes to target Scout with it. Interesting. By, yeah, by sending that back, he keeps the emptiness up. So now Jerome sets one card. Yeah. And he's gonna be. I mean, he's going to draw to a scout, which obviously not bad, but still. 
uh, Hoven draws a copy of Upstart Goblin, which will, he will immediately activate, and I believe Drew an another Burning Abyss. Yeah. Uh, Graph. So being locked down under emptiness, that's might not do him any good right now. We'll see. Looks like his hand is uh, Tour Guide, or two copies of Tour Guide potentially, and Graph. And these are the problems we see sometimes that Burning Abyss can run into. Yeah. Just being locked down really hard by vanities that they can't clear. Yeah. Look, he's already burned one MST. He, um... And one wing blast. Yeah. Uh, now he just used that to prevent the OTK. Now he's debating on uh, somebody the tour guy. Or, or, or milling. Yeah, he's gonna mill with Dante. Dante. Ooh. Hit two. Knows that fairy wind. I'm sure that's, yeah, that's the that's the card where he would have loved to draw. Unfortunate. Mm -hmm. That lore and fairy wind are gonna be in the grave. But oh, he does have the fire lake in grave, so he's gonna crash the Dante into the into the disc. Um, yeah, take. Take uh take one. And grab that fire leg. Yep, and grab that fire leg right back normal. and just clear his whole field. Yeah. Okay, so. so good play from Pat. Very um, you know, a little bit slow, but it is it ultimately gonna get you to your end game of clearing that board up. Yeah, and, and still Porter is um in a position he's gonna draw a scout next, but still. Yeah, he's gonna normal summon that graph and just Obviously. And I think he waits till he yeah, activates the graph or activates the scout. And he's probably gonna flip it here. No? He's thinking about it. I think he, I think you have to flip it here. You have to shut down that search. Yeah, because you leave Porter in like a top decking position. And you can blow away the other two. Um, Graf can bring back a se Graf can bring out a seer. Yeah. Because um, you don't even need to hit the. Uh, he actually doesn't even hit the emptiness. But he wants to get his uh, his graph to go off. So scout potentially scout emptiness and a. Uh, in a back row, you're thinking? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's got emptiness in one of the back rows, and then Calcab can bounce the other one. Yeah, you have to set it, so have to set it again, but. Yeah, I know that's what he's just tanking on right now, just whether to drop that uh that Calcab or not. These are the struggles. Indeed, indeed. Knowing you're so close to wrapping it up, you don't want to make not one misplay, not one miscalculation. And he's going to let Porter search. Okay. Um, I believe we saw this uh, in game one also, where he elected to let Porter search, but decided to fire Lake when Porter set up his pendulum scales. Uh, obviously, that's not an issue with. Yeah, uh, he's gonna let it ride. Yeah, let him grab a carrier. Yeah, obviously setting up the pendulum scales isn't an issue with that face up vanity's emptiness. Yeah. But it is something that Hoven needs to be aware of. Because you have to assume the emptiness is going to get turned off uh, offline at, at some point this turn. Yeah. The question is, does uh, wait, Jerome had a. Uh, Wiretap earlier, didn't he? He still has the wiretap set, or uh, that was another game. Was, I don't know if he, I don't know if he. Uh, you have to assume he has something set back there. Uh, yeah. the, one, the one in particular has been set the entire game, despite the fact that Hoban kind of, kind of been running roughshod, doing whatever he wanted for a little while there. Um, and Hoban thinking about activating it now, and it looks like he will. I think Porter is uh, Porter's okay with that. Yeah, Paddle has plenty of life to take this hit. Because you can hit the scout in two back row. Yeah, exactly. All right, uh, makes his decision. He's and yeah, he's gonna wire. Oh, he just wire taps it away. Yeah. So. <laughs> so very strong. Well, he sides in three of them. So and again, for game three, he did go first. So a good chance he's gonna see one. Uh, that vanity that miss is gonna is gonna go regardless though after that wire tap resolves. Um. Calcap bouncing Porter's face down back to his hand, and the emptiness is now in the graveyard. Yep. And then Pat's going to take 21 here. Yep. So, uh, Porter in certainly a reasonable position at the moment. He's going to go ahead and sack the disc and uh, bring out Carrier. Sacrifice is going to go ahead and activate. Only monster in the, uh, the on top of the extra deck right now is uh, Quillport Disc. He's gonna search for a carrier off of Sacrifice. Um, 
Yep. And now he's going to Pendulum Summon and set the back row. I didn't get a good look at what it was, unfortunately. Not quite sure what his back row is, but... Oh, and then Hoban draws another upstart, so if he elects to use that, it's going to push uh, Porter up to 76. Yep. <coughs> Which I'm sure he's going to tell all the life he can get right now. Yeah, absolutely. Did he already take, uh, he took the damage from from Disc and Carrier? And Hoban draws huh? a copy of Bottomless. He took he took damage from Disc and Carrier, didn't he? Uh, he, he yeah. No, not Carrier, uh, just Disc. He's yeah. Oh, Ooh, and a skill drain. And skill drain. And this board... Im this board immediately looking like it's, it's going to uh, favor uh Yeah, Hoban with just favor another, another tour guide and a bottomless in yeah. his hand. Not looking good for him. Okay. Uh, Porter's going to get another scout activation. Hoban just has a single reactive trap in his hand. Uh, and a creature that's just dead with his skill drain out right now. Yeah, I don't know if he has any way to fight through this. Just he didn't have enough back row hate. Yeah. And he passed his play. And now... And he's going to search right there. Just immediately search. Yeah. Jerome is actually at 76. Because Hoban upstarted. Oh, uh, he upstarted. But then he just paid for skill drain. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right, you're right. My bad, my bad. Jump, good? The, jump the gun, jump the gun. Porter likes to search for uh, Clifford Disc off of Scout. All right. Uh, you have to wonder if, you know. He, he is just going to normal summon it. Uh, again, with skill drain, these things are pretty massive. Oh, he's going to bottom list. Okay. Yeah. Get some value out. Keep himself alive, at least. For another for draw, eight plus three, which could be very relevant depending on what he get, what he gets. Um, he has carrier in the pendulum zone. Yeah, yeah. So he's getting three. that plus three. Yeah. So disc is thirty-one right now, and uh, carrier is well, like 20, 27? Huh? The carrier? Yeah. Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Because yeah, his, his base attack is 24. So, so that was, uh, 4, yeah, that's another damage. monster for Pat, yeah, I, think. I think. Yeah, it's just a Skarm. Uh, you have to imagine Pat's going to scoop it up here. Yeah, I don't, I don't see how you fight through this with just the two Burning Abyss monsters. I mean, yeah, Porter, Porter is now playing. Eight I guess you could. I guess you could go. Porter is now paying eight hundred dollars or eight hundred life yeah. points to put a. Uh, yeah, eight hundred dollars. That's not right. Eight hundred dollars, damn dog. Eight hundred life <laughs> points to put a gigantic taste. creature into play every single turn with the skill drain. Yeah. And um. And yeah, Patrick's gonna screw yeah, it. Up. All right. Okay. So Jerome battles back and avoids the savage three zero, and we are headed to game number four. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, man. More Yu-Gi-Oh is always preferable to less Yu-Gi-Oh. Yep. No doubts there. And uh, Hoban gonna be on the.
All right, we back. Appreciate you letting us run that ad. Definitely generates revenue for the channel, which is always a good thing. And, of course, your support uh, via subscriptions, your views, all that stuff. Definitely helping ARG keep this stream going. And we're about to head into game number four. Porter able to battle back, avoid the 3-0, uh, take game number three from Patrick Hoban as he looks to do it two more times and actually uh, be the first person to really uh, make the 3-0 comeback at ARG yeah. and uh, take the title. But obviously Hoban with other intentions on his mind. So mm -hmm. we'll see what Porter can get done. It's definitely been a long uh, grand finals, but, uh, you know, regardless, a good display of talent by both these men. See, what Porter needs to do is play it like he's fighting for his freedom. Okay. Chain links in Yu-Gi-Oh! Chains? Slavery? Break those chains? Are you going to tell me something about the Illuminati next? It, liter it literally just makes sense. Is Patrick Homan Illuminati? He might be. He might be. He definitely owns a plantation. That's my boy. Wow. Shout out to Hopes. Wow. <laughs> kidding, right. guys. We're just having some fun during the, between the match. Don't, Phil, don't Phil take us serious. Phil is not actually kidding. This is what he really believes. Yeah, I'm. All right. Uh, Hoban going to be on the play for the first time, though, since game one. Um, again, it's very interesting. It's going to allow him to potentially set up the fire lakes and the uh, fire lakes and fairy winds that are going to allow him to stop Scout from taking over the game like it normally would. Get your mic level up. Uh, right. good? Yep, we can start. And, uh, All right, we back, we back, we back. Ooh, flying C right off the bat. Ooh, young Hobes. So he's going to force him. That flying C absolutely devastating. Yeah, man. And while yep. while Hoban is able to rebuild a little bit because of uh, grab searching for Skarm. Yeah, losing that um access to uh, Dante or Virgil is yeah. so huge. And uh, Hoban now just with a Fire Lake and a uh, Fairy Wind and Fairy Wind and MST. And MST, so he's going to... So while he does have a couple of disruptive elements, yeah. he also just has absolutely no gas. Flying C, man, that's that's the truth card right there. And, uh, allows I you do. to allows you to play on your opponent's turn. And I do see at least one summoner art from Porter. So Hoban's going to have to burn so a couple of at least one of those uh, back row. Yeah. Yeah, at least one of those back rows almost immediately, unless he wants a uh, scout to begin to take the game over. I mean, that's the thing. I don't know if uh, Hoban brought in any of the the fiends. Yeah. Uh, as a, as an out to flying C. Yeah, he may I, be very limited. I would. I thought he. I thought when he was shuffling through his deck the last time it was on, I thought I saw Majesty's fiend. Okay. Or vanities. Uh, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I would imagine. I mean, that's such a strong out um, to that flying C. And uh, also of note, Porter does have an MST of his own. Yep. Yeah. Here's the. Here's Third the time this match, he's going to summon his art into Scout. But Fryer not he's going to pay the 800, but I very much uh, I doubt, doubt it's going to stick, gonna search, obviously, yeah. with MST face down as well as Fairy Wind. <coughs> Porter pretty deep in thought right now. Yeah, no, he's, he's thinking whether he's going to drop the Scout now. Yep. And he or, is. Uh, or wait. Yeah, there, there's no reason not to. And Hoban's going to go ahead and uh, he's going to change something. I think he's thinking about what to do. Yeah, MST, MST, obviously. Okay. So Porter's got MST. Uh, he's got, we said MST. He's got Upstart Goblin, which he plays right now. And I think the uh, disc is in his hands. It's, it's very hard to see. He's holding the uh, he's holding the cards kind of. Yeah, oh, another scout. Another I don't know if he scout. drew that or he had it, but he's going to force that fairy uh, yeah. wind as well. So both players are going to take 300 yep. on that exchange. Yep, dropping uh, Jerome to 69 and Pat to 87. And, right, and duality. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and duality. Cause see, uh, maybe get an, <laughs> maybe get another yes. one. One. Emptiness. Two. Sacrifice and odd yeah, eyes. Oh, okay. Close well, enough. Well, odd eyes will get you there too. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what sacrifice. So and a strong duality, but he's gonna go ahead and let just take the emptiness here. Very, very good. Very interesting. Yeah. MST is the back row, yeah. and there's a and that fire like was dead right. anyway, and he's just gonna swing and set the emptiness. Okay, 
So this puts him in a fantastic position here. Hoban was simply a tour guide in his hand drawing a, uh, a graph. graph. So you have to think Porter is just in Porter is a, in a very strong spot right yeah, now. Yeah, absolutely. This is this is great for Jerome. Yeah. Yeah, because Pat, Pat doesn't have a way to out it right now. And that that's the that's the issue that you run into. And you set one. When and um you have these MSTs that you want to burn on their scouts, but yeah. then you don't have it for that emptiness. Yeah. You're just gonna go ahead and swing, I'm thinking. It'll be interesting to see if he activates the emptiness pre combat. He's gonna normal And summon. now he's gonna flip the emptiness. Yeah. Nice, very smart play right there. Yeah, we are we're definitely yeah, uh, just on that graph. He's gonna nice. take eighteen from that carrier. He knew he had the MST, it's a good chance he drew Pat with just a dead tour guide in his hand yeah. currently. Uh he's gonna have to draw and something. Gonna Another graph. That's not gonna mm. get you there. Yeah, it looks like uh, this is great for this is great for Porter. He's just gonna start chipping away at those life points right now. Yeah, these uh these eighteen hundred beats, sometimes it's all you need. Exactly. That's what I mean, this is what this deck does. So many just ways to kill you. Hoven at sixty nine hundred, so it's not like he can he can't even sit back for too long. Uh thirty six hundred damage is on board right now. Or 3,600 points of attacker on board right yeah. now. He's probably just going to, I mean, if Hoban does, he's probably just going to set the graph. Uh, it, it depends. I mean, he probably has to and hope he draws a, uh, a space for the man. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you got to out it somehow. Yeah. Yeah, he still has time. You have to save that. Uh, but the longer you wait, the longer, you I know. Yeah, I really like how Jerome simplified the game state here and just. Yeah, that flying C turn one was devastating. insane. Yeah, just. Absolutely just devastating. shut down his, his whole setup. You know, guys, those numbers are their standings in Swiss uh, next to their names because Jerome Porter finished first in Swiss and Patrick Homer finished 11th. Yeah, he's just going to go ahead and pass. I think, yeah, I think you have to here. Just and save your resources. I'm going to go ahead and activate that swing for two. Odd Eyes, is, uh, Odd Eyes will die, and it will allow him to look or find that third scout. Yeah, man, that's really strong. And with it going to that pendulum zone, it just leaves that vanities unaffected. I think Hoban drew another burning, monster. Yeah, I think another burning abyss creature. So, so uh, looks like he hasn't found the out. Yeah. In, in all likelihood, unless that burning abyss creature was a scarm, that's probably just going to be it for this game. Uh, it, oh, I'm sorry. It looks like it, he drew a Rubik. Actually, Rubik, Rubik still just is nice right here. Just uh, yeah. being able to wall off with 2100 defense. Yeah. So 100 better than scarm. So Rubik, not the worst draw here. Interestingly enough, Rubik was probably his uh, his best draw, actually. Yeah, but then he can just go scout, grab uh, grab anything, tribute for carrier, bounce, and then yeah. bounce the monster and kill him. All right. And he just uh, hatches saying do it. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to make him play it through, which could indicate to Jerome that maybe it's that defense is a little bigger than I think. And, he's gonna and bounce it. Pat's scooping it up. He and is. We're yeah. going to go to it's game five. Wow, game we are going five. to game five. Look, Jerome right now is on – on the verge of doing two things right now. One, going undefeated throughout the tournament, winning, winning it, and being in grand finals and winning it from a 2-0 deficit. Yep. This man could make history two times right now. Yep. And third thing is uh, that's crazy. Might break that, uh, that's Hoban's crazy. Final streak. Hoban has never lost in the finals of a tournament. Yeah, he's never oh lost my. in the finals. Like Hoban is in danger. Hoban is in danger of having that crush, and Jerome's in danger. First ARG person to win undefeated and come back from a 2-0 deficit. A lot on the line for both of these guys. Yeah. Yes, going to see this. And the 500 difference between first and second, too. Yeah, something you're going to play hard for. This is this is real right now. Yeah, and just add, a, add another trophy to wow. the And we can see a good view of those trophies right there. You know what, you know what happened? Place. Porter Porter must have heard me talking crap about him. He turned it up. He turned it up. My man, see, that's, a, that's not that hating his motivation. Those, that was one of those words. I'm not hating his Absolutely. motivation, all right? I'm here for my boy. Yeah. Said, said we them boys. We can't say turned up. I don't. Turn down? Turn down for what then, Joe? <laughs> for what? Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, well. This hey is guys, crazy, think, man. Uh, Pat's going to take another bathroom break. Um, you guys all right? We're at 30, 34, 30 viewers. Come on, guys. You're 70 more. We can break 3,500. I know we can. We can do this, Again, guys. For this, this, this final decisive game. Game five, grand final. See if Jerome Porter can uh, run it, run the back three. I don't yeah, know. I Maybe think I think Porter's gonna. I think I, like what did I say at the beginning of this grand finals? It, it if it's your day, it's your day. Yep. I think it could just could very well be Porter's day. You see that smile on his face? That boy's happy, boy. That's, 
I actually think that's the first mile we've seen him. I'm telling you, that's daughter. like you walk in the house and mama got mama got the homemade biscuits. She got the, the chitlins. She got the fried chicken all ready to go. Here you go, baby. Here you go. Okay, <laughs> Jerome's like, mm, let me get that real quick. Let me get that real quick. I see him. That's my boy. That's my boy. <laughs> and he is so close to closing this out. But Hoban, obviously, being the spectacular player that he is, it's not going to be easy, man. This game five is going to be – it's either going to be a blowout or it's going to be a grind game. It's going to be insane. We're oh, we yeah. about to find out. couple minutes, guys. couple minutes. I don't know. Maybe see if uh, – oh, yeah. Hoban's spirit animal has been like the blacklisted soldier this tournament. So, maybe that uh, – Gonna play, let him win. And there we go, breaking 3,500 viewers. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah. Appreciate you joining in. All right. Our, our grand finals game number five, the final and deciding game of this match is about to happen. Um, once uh, Hoban gets back from the restroom, uh, give a little chance to to freshen up. These matches are long. They've been playing a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh this weekend. Yep. Uh, is there a little break here and there? Hey man, my man keeps heading to the bathroom, man. Popping an Adderall or something. <laughs> Turn up for this last game. <laughs> I'm going to see into your soul. So many things wrong with what we just said. <laughs> yeah. We do not condone the use of drugs. I told you we should test for illegal. drugs in the top 16. Oh, Nobody what? listened to me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, I'm, I'm, now that I'm doing Yu-Gi-Oh! commentary, I'm breaking boundaries, okay? I'm breaking boundaries. I'm breaking, I'm breaking, you can't get rid of me, all right? Oh, great. I'm here forever. That's true. Forever, yeah, forever, 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 forever. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> See, look what you just did. Now you just, you just scared away 10 people. And now we're under 3,500. 3, Damn. That was all you. Well, that's because we're on intermission. Some of those people might want to get a sandwich. Oh, I'm pretty sure 10 of those people are like, I can't believe they just said that. Yeah, and if you guys are wondering like, where Columbus was, where the Moines coverage is, some of the uh, Columbus footage is corrupted. Um, don't even worry about it. It's, it's yeah. old footage, man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's from old. the old format. Old ones. You don't care about that. This, this is going up, though. All this is going up, correct? Yep. You already know. Oh, yeah. Probably after Seattle's will go up. Uh, but if you want to catch that beforehand, is uh, be able to subscribe, get a full access to all our vods. Yeah, man, five dollars a month get you to get you all that good stuff. Badge next to your name, access to those emoticons you use on any channel, man. Yeah. Support ARG because streaming ain't free. Streaming ain't free and it ain't easy, and they do a damn good job. So go ahead and show them some love too. All right, yeah. like I all say right. all the time, you can you can skip a meal off fast food. No. No. I it ain't it ain't easy. I ain't gonna lie to you, it ain't easy. You know what else ain't easy? Hmm? Oh Lord! <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we got Hoping back in his seat. Well, I tell you what, Patrick. If Patrick wins five. this, he's gonna have four rings for that pimp hand. He gonna slap someone, leave an ARG imprint, and call it a day. Let's go. Game five <laughs> coming up. It's about to go down. <laughs> Basement. I don't know if you got a ring if you win in YCS. No, you don't. That's pretty lame. Nah. nah. Of course, that's, that's, why, that's why you come to Circus. Wait, do you get an iPad? I think. Yeah. I think uh, if I if I won, I hit the pawn shop. Yeah, boy. I think you get a firm handshake. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, buddy. That's real. That's real. I got bills, dog. Right, iPad guys. ain't paying that. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right, they're going to be chuffing wrist a hot minute. Going to fire off a 30-second commercial real quick. All right, we'll be right back, uh, guys. We'll be right back. Yep. All right, here you guys, we're back for the uh, start of game number five. Yes, sir. Pat, Pat Hoven's going to be on the play here. And which is huge because uh, Clifford really want to go first. They really want to go and first. And it looks like he's opened with Tour Guide and, I believe, Soul Charge. Okay. So that's, that either, I mean, that's that good. That was either Soul Charge or Rank Up. I couldn't, okay. I couldn't really tell it. So no MST or Fairy Wind? Because obviously those are good comeback cards, but not when you're trying to disrupt Clifford's from doing what they do best. Yeah. All right, here we go. Tour guide into a graph, and doesn't look like that Jerome has a flying C. Nope, not this time around. But yeah, regardless, that could just very well mean he's got one of those summer nards, a scout. You know, yeah. something to get something going. We'll find out. That's a, that's a upstrike off. Is that a soul charge in his hand? Yeah, it is soul charge. He does have that, and he's gonna go into Dante first. All right, 
Pat taking his time here. Yeah, just figuring out whether he wants to go into the Dante. I think that might be. Is that a rank? It might be a rank up. Yeah, I couldn't tell at a quick glance. It was, it was pretty hard. And there's a Dante, yeah, obviously. And those, and those Vivers just spiked. We were at, uh, did I see that right? 3,600? 3, yeah. 3,600 viewers. Can Wait. we have 4,000? This is the last game. I don't know. This, this, is, the la this is the last game. Can we have 4,000 viewers? We might. We're at can we do it? We're at 3,700 right I think now. we can do it. Come on, guys. If we're at 3,900, I'll have like Phil like dance and sing or something. Until I will. 4, All I right. Think, I don't think people want to see that. Hey, man, I'll I do a mean two-step. The people would love to see that. Yeah. <laughs> Who's down in the back Get of the that club? Ball. I don't know. Get that Baltimore two-step going. Hit him with that two-step, though. Yeah. Yeah, drink up plus the soul charge. That's disgusting. Oh, that's really good. Oh, wow. Man. That's why he's going for that. I know he's taking ready to go for that Virgil or just Dante plus Pleiades. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So that could be an incredibly strong opening here from Pat. All right. Oh, not the uh, not the worst mills, but yeah, hitting that wing boss kind of sucks. Yeah, I mean that's the um, card you always want. But he did hit the uh, the scarm for his search for later in the turn. I know he's just tanking right now. Um, we're gonna go with the with the graph. God, I think he has one more burning of his monster in hand. So we see Soul Charge, Upstart, uh, Rank Up, you said? Yes, sir. And yep. a, uh, a Burning Abyss creature. Mm -hmm. And he's going to go ahead and go for uh, Sir here. Yes. But he's still thinking, though. And it looks like he's decided on Sir. Yeah, and this is the, uh, this is the deciding game for Black Wolves. Very, very careful. And he's going to bring here. out that Seer. There it is. Ooh, he's got MST in his hand too, as well. So that's, that's really good. This, this is like you couldn't draw up a better opener. <coughs> yeah, very strong right here. Is this the best time to soul charge? Ooh. I suppose we shall find out. Um, what is on the mat? Uh, I see. I see MST. Dante. I see MST soul charge upstart and a burning abyss. I don't see the rank up. Yeah, was it MST and not rank up, maybe? I think it was an MST. Yeah, it must have been an MST. Wait, oh, that's still yes, gross. There's Soul Charge, yeah. All right, uh, Upstart Goblin. I'm going to get him into another Burning Abyss. Okay, so it was not the the exact cards we believed it were. Obviously, um, with a little bit of glare, no spell cards can kind of all look the same every now and then. And he's yeah. drawing a cow cab. But still, uh, uh, with that Soul Charge, the uh, opening of uh, Hoban here, really good. Porter going to go up to 9,000 via Upstart. I think he ha he have to go for the soul charge here. Just to put off, put on yeah. the strong board, yeah. You I get double you. Dante Virgil with this opener. I hear you. I don't have the Virgil because he said it was cow cab in yeah, his cow hand. Cow cab. I yes. thought it was a Rubik. Okay. Less excited. <laughs> Still pumped. Yeah, but you gotta put a strong board up. You have no defensive traps. And sometimes that's all you need. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. And it's not like, uh, so there's the Calcab. It's, it's not like uh, Good Forts have a great way of breaking through that 2,500 defense of Dante. Yeah. So uh, we are going to see the second Dante of the turn. Sir and a Calcab underneath of it. Yep. And he's going to detach that Sir. Yep. And we'll see how many mills. Uh, one. Fire Lake. Ooh, that's pretty big. That's a good mill. That's a great mill. just mil. for one. He's going to bring back the Graph. And probably just set the MST. Yeah, he's going to get a Skarm Search end of turn. Well, he still might play Soul Charge. I mean, no, he's no, going to play it close it. to the chest with this one. I like that. And then Faze is just going to head and get his searches. Incredible turn one by Pat Hoven. Here. Yeah, that's really good. Incredibly difficult board to break through. I don't know if uh, I don't know if Porter's capable of breaking through this either. Um, while Hoban doesn't have a lot of disruption, he still has an inc 
incredibly strong board. Yeah, I mean, and, and if he does have a way to get at least one scout, Hoban's got the MST for this. So yep. Yeah. It's gonna put uh, Jerome in. But uh, we've seen every time position. that uh that Hoban is at an out for that scout. Yeah. Uh, ah, I rhymed. Um, he's always had a second one. <laughs> yeah. True. True. Yeah, this uh, I don't know. He, he did keep you in skill drain. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that, right that doesn't help a lot. All right, there's a scout. scout. That's going to force out the MST after the payment of 800. You know, Pat's thinking whether he's going to let it ride. Perhaps he well. lets it ride. Well, maybe. All right. I'm surprised he still kept in the skill drains. So am I, especially on the draw here. It seems very weak, though. Because Pat's shown he attempts to establish yeah, I as, quick, as quickly I don't as possible. I actually don't agree with this. Is uh, I'm missing the scout right here. Um, Why? Just there's nothing he can do to actually break through this board right here. So you're stopping him from developing his field, but a card like Skill Drain or a Vanities or something could just lock you out. That's true. That could be really ve uh, relevant down the road. Maybe Pat might have a little regret about MST and prematurely on that scout, but we'll find out here. Yeah, like, still. I mean, like we saw just that last game, he burned an MST early on the scout. True, and, and it actually cost him. He had another, and he had the emptiness. Yeah, it, it did cost him. So. Well, we'll see if that comes back to bite him or no. Nah. Let's see. So, um... I think I see odd eyes in his hand, which would give him access to another scout. <coughs> Porter thinking very hard here. Yeah, this is last game, man. Yeah. This is this is tournament yeah, tournament game yeah, for both absolutely. players. So yeah. you gotta Although, take your time. To be fair, he does have access to uh, Fire Lake. Um, yes. Out of his grave. Yeah, if Dante if Dante hits uh, the yard, yeah, that fire lake, you know, it's coming right back to the hand. Yeah. Rome thinking, what can I do to get past a double Dante and a graph? Like just straight a border just floaters. It's crazy. Yeah. Looks like he might be playing a car yeah, a carrier is a pendulum scale. All right. And who are we summoning here? Perhaps uh, that looks like another Quillport. A Helix? Can't I quite see. I believe it's Helix. So he might just be bringing out Scout and Defense. Yeah, that yep. is indeed Helix. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> So we could pendulum here, get a, get the scout, and at least have that good that big defense. Yeah. Uh, in scout with that twenty eight D. The defense backed up by skill drain as well. Yeah, he's debating it right yeah. now. What are, what are the monsters? Yeah. Oh yeah, debating putting the scout in. Um, it's fine with the uh, the skill drain, but it's just such a passive play. Yeah. Like well, you might not have another option. That's the problem here. Yeah. That is a very serious problem. Because uh, Hoban's representing a p potentially a lot of damage next turn. Yeah. That boy just thinking right now. Yeah, like he said his scales, but I don't think this is a really, this is not really a spot where you're proud to be pendulum summoning this way. Yeah, I hear you. And he's going to equip the uh, the sack wolf ice and set the skill drain, and he's going to pass it up, and that's how he's going to end the turn here. Let's see what Pat can get going. Draws, not sure yet. Four cards in here. A yeah, fairy wind. Oh man, that's insane. That is a Jeez. fantastic draw. Um, you couldn't you couldn't write it any better than that. Yeah. The only issue guys. right here now is because he doesn't have an immediate out to that twenty eight hundred scout plus um, the uh, the skill drain. Yeah, Ho Hoban may be forced to only do make a uh, ha or conduct a soul charge turn only. Um, well, he's gonna, well, he's gonna mill. Yeah. And that's <coughs> one of the new ones. Yeah, he's sending the uh, the Alec. Yep. Uh, Calcab. Or the Calcab? Calcab to 
yeah, to bounce the set. Have to bounce and he's he's gonna just gonna change, change his skill drain. Good, good decision. And it looks like Hoven did indeed bring in Vanity Speed. Okay. Okay. Well, I can't imagine that being quite too uh, too relevant right now. So if each of the pendulums up there, so his monsters gain three and then his opponents lose three. Yes. And those are the ones right yeah, here to carry right now. Yeah. So he couldn't even so he couldn't even potentially make acid golem and swing over anything. Yeah. So that's a six hundred point difference. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Yeah, bit of a stalemate here, maybe. With yeah, Shelton? like he, does, he can't really push through that. Uh, yeah, through that scout. You know, but Drum can't do the same thing. If he pushes through, then he has access to to Fire Lake, which is just gonna take yeah, away that skill drain without yeah. question. <laughs> unfortunately, uh, fortunately, that fairy wind might just might have just been the draw that Hoban needed, destroying the pendulum scales as well as the uh, the skill drain. Yeah, he does have access to that fairy wind. I think yeah, he just got to sit turn. on that fairy wind. You're going to get a plus three off of it, yeah. or plus two after the sacrifice searches. But um, yeah, like you fear yourself up from the uh, the soul drain or the skill drain, and uh, you get rid of his pendulums. Although the scale, the setting the scales right now doesn't really mean too much. Yeah, I think you should just kind of just set the fairy wind and. Pass it up. Yeah, man, don't don't need to force anything through right here. I know he's tanking on this, uh, whether he wants to use this Seer or not, because yeah. he has Seer Graph in hand. Um. Still deciding yep. here. Yep, and Lautwin just uh, well, hoping it's tanking. Thank you all to the uh, 3,700 plus viewers we got right now. Glad to see you guys all coming out. Um, so he's going to normal that graph. See who brings out here. Uh, another Dante. Dante. Number mm. three. Okay. All right. The band is all here right now. Let's go. And he hits uh, Sir. Mills one for Seer. Uh, he can grab out Jeez. the Rubik. Is there a Rubik in there? Or he can gr or grab the Rubik with the graph, is what I mean. Yeah. If he wants to. And he does have Sir, so. Yeah, he has uh, Alec, Calcab. This seems fun. Uh, pass, yeah. pass to the yeah. field a triple Dante Virgil with a fairy, with a wind, fairy set. wind set and access to a soul charge. <laughs> Still in the once again. Yeah, I'd say, I'd yeah. say, I'd say uh, Pat's sitting pretty pretty right now. Yeah. He does need to play a little bit quicker, though. Um, so Seer is going to bring back Skarm. Man, that defense is crazy. Boy, I, I thought the Great Wall of China was serious. Boy, he tried to get past three Dantes. It's real out here. Rule. Is he making Virgil? It looks like he is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it also triggers his uh, his Skarm effect for later in the turn. Damn, he made that's a strong yeah. that's a strong ass boy. Yeah, guys, are real confused. Milling for Dante is a cost, which he can do under Skill Drain. Really powerful. Yeah, exactly. I don't think he was cheating or anything. Nope. Just the, he didn't get the attack boost. Yep. But the cost this still has to be paid. Just a matter of time before this like field explodes. That fairy wind is just like Homer just waiting for that card just unlocks his whole field. Yeah, man. Yeah. And uh, try to hype this up. Come on, guys. We need twenty three hundred more. We get to thirty eight hundred people. We need twenty three hundred more. Twenty three people. Oh, okay. Like, Twenty three for thirty for thirty eight. All right, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. You already know what it is, man. Make sure you spread that link around. Let them know. Again, we've been to building all weekend. Finish up strong, man. This is Grand Finals game number five. Somebody about to get their dream shattered. Well, I guess not really shattered, but... Nah, we're going to go with shattered.